what we were doing last time. Storming the castle? No, don't say that. What were we doing? We had just gotten to the castle. We had just gotten to the castle. That is about where we have... It's about where we have left things. So, we last time uh, you guys had set a church on fire to uh, get rid of uh, one, one source of banery. Uh, you ran across a band of hobgoblins and goblins trying to uh, raid the cemetery, which then you w went through the church and then burnt it to the, de burnt it to the ground. Uh, then you found and ran across uh, the dwarven mage Colston, uh, who gave you some, some hints about the secret entrances to Castle Frederick and made sure that you knew exactly where the castle was. And at the end of the session, you have come across the, uh, the, the building, and it is in front of you. Everybody is on the map right now, just kind of off to the side. We were, we're saying that you're, you're not right at the castle, that you are, you know, you, you're within the eye shot, but you're not r as close as you are right now on the map. So things are, you appear closer than they really are. Objects in... I was really kind of hoping somebody would break into the chorus of the song, but, you know, I don't know. I don't yeah, remember. I don't really sign of arrest. I don't know if I would have remembered to reset my character sheet, because we were arguing about level 5. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything on the chat log, nor do I see anything in my less than copious notes here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to assume that there was a rest that had happened, um, you know, shortly around the church fire. Because uh, that happened midday. You made it, it to Colston a little shortly after that. And I think we've come up to the castle. I don't believe that we... I don't believe that it's evening time. So I think you may have gone through one short rest over the course of this playing day. I think you're right. What we had not rested since the uh, the goblins in the churchyard. Right. So we're still on that day that started with you at the border at the border tower. So given that, what would you say the time is now? I would say probably mid to late afternoon because I, it took us a couple of hours to go from the tower to the church, then there was no telling how, I mean, it, we, we did the battle, we scurried through the church, set it on fire, did all that, then traveled for a little ways to hit Colston's, we were there for a little while, so I'd say we're mid to late afternoon. And how far from the castle are we? I'm trying to I picture think, it in my head. I think we talked about stopping a little further away right and you're not like right now where your character tokens are you are not that close to the to the castle i would say that you are a little further back are we out of sight yes yeah i mean you can see it you're not in line uh, line of sight from the uh, from the guards that you can see right there at the front uh you can see that the the castle is there it is not um it is not a large castle by any stretch of the imagination. This is a small regional um, seat, uh, so it is not one of these sprawling castles that have, you know, multiple towers and, uh, and and such. I'm not really sure what you know what what a smaller castle would be, but it's it is a a smaller castle. Uh, but you are at to to answer uh, Will's question. You are not. I'd say you're, you know, a hill or so away. Mm, once you know what, half mile, quarter mile, something where you can distinguish it, and you're there, and you can sit there and make plans amongst yourselves. Okay. Think we could take it. I wouldn't mind a little short rest if it's safe. 
Chest, chest, chest. <gasps> hey. Have you melted yet? Uh, it's currently 93 in my house. In the basement? Uh, no, upstairs. Ick. I may move to the basement at some point. Okay, so, um, Ash, join me over in the, the DM channel real quick, please. All right, hold on one sec. I don't see anything on here. Am I supposed to? Scroll down to the bottom Zoom of the in. map. Zoom in. Or gotcha, down. sorry. I did, I did the same thing when I logged in. <laughs> All right, yeah, hold on, I'll jump over. Okay, so um, I was assuming you were going to be later, so I have not launched into what I had planned to do with your character. Um, so I'm kind, of, I'm kind of at a crossroads here. So do you want Thongram to be here or not? Uh, whatever works for you. I mean, I'm, I'm good either way. I can... I can come in and get carried away, or I can stick with everybody else, whatever works for you. Okay, so I was, uh, my, my plan, since, you know, uh, I, I don't keep a lot of secrets from you in this one. My plan was to have just kind of hand wave you going into the castle to search for the, the quartermaster to try to, you know, um, elongate y'all's, y'all's plan to go in as traveling salespeople you know, maybe per during this rest. Um, and then when you fail to come back, uh, you know, perhaps have a chance encounter with the, uh, the maroon hare who's been uh, spying on the castle and have them have that person tell the crew that you've been, you know, taken down to the dungeon, uh, hopefully trying to guide the party down through the secret entrance to go capture or regain you. That, that was my thought. Works for me. Whatever works for you, I'll go with. Um, so, if, I mean, this gives you a little bit of a role-playing chance to, you know, say, hey, I'm going to go do this. You guys, you know, prepare here, and I'm going to go, you know, do my barbar barbarian negotiating skills. Um, so it allows you to, I guess, get a little role-play in. I don't I don't know. If, you, if you're completely against it, we'll, we'll just go with it. Yeah, it works for me. Uh, do you think they'll get back around to me, or just kind of be a listening to it? I sincerely hope that they would go straight for you. I mean, you know, um, having having this uh, Ren character come in, who is a a a female orc, which you could uh, you could play for us. I mean, you kind of know what the general feel for uh, the goal. the The main milestone would be saying, "Hey, I saw your buddy. Uh, he was trying to talk to the quartermaster." Um, and it looks like something went sideways, and he's been taken, you know, taken by the guards, and uh, he was taken down to the to the dungeon. Um, which right now I only have the, the 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 dungeon and the main castle, so it's a very small thing. Um, but you could, she could then reiterate the, hey, there's this secret entrance. If you guys can find it in the back, that will take you down to the dungeon, which will which will allow you to take. Um, the left fork or the, the left door uh, to make, make it to the dungeon room or the, the whatever uh, room of captivity. How do you feel about that? All right, let's, let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's, let's roll with it. I mean, can't go too bad, right? No, <laughs> no, no, we can't. All right, let's wing it. See, how, see what happens. All right. All right. All right. I remember that at the time, but it's, it's been so long. It's like, wait, the north of the there's castle. Been, there's been a lot of drinking between then and now. There's no way. I'm oh, yes, that. there has been some drinking. <laughs> I didn't have any drinks. Oh, you're back. I want one. <laughs> As he stares at a bottle. Since we're all like, playing together. This isn't considered being alone, so we can all drink all we want, right? This is not like drinking alone, right? No, and uh, he says that staring right. at a bottle of uh, whiskey right in front of him that he forgot he had on his desk. All right. Mm. Cheers. Salute. It's it's rude to not drink to a cheers. Oh hell! I'm gonna go get a beer. 
So I haven't seen, I, I just haven't checked my Facebook. I don't know if it's different because I don't normally check it on the desktop, but <laughs> this human from New York came up and it's this little kid and he's like, I'm a superhero. My power is something. And he goes, my daddy's also a superhero. His power is minding his own business. And I was like, aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just have a feeling that line was fed to him by his dad. Are you a superhero? Yeah, my superhero is keeping my mouth shut. Well, I'm good to go. I'm, Eldon, I'm kind of leaving it to you if you want to do a full rest beforehand. I'm, I, like I said, I can get, I'm, I'm good for, you know, for one se one one round, so okay, me too. Well, just don't wa don't waste it on healing word. I won't. Well, no, I think I fixed it, so it actually worked now. I just mean that's that's healing word's not really a healing spell. It's a get off the ground spell. Unless you roll super well. So, is there any? Like pathways to go around the castle. You're talking about trees behind the castle where there's a secret entrance or something. That is what Colston had mentioned to you. So there is a um, here. Let me reveal a little more. I thought I revealed more more of that. Hang on, just a tick. And make sure that I'm on the right screen. This will give me some time because Ash's computer just turned off. Okay. I'll be overheated. Yeah. So I guess we were still trying to decide what's our, our what's our approach going to be. Are we going to try and go straight to the secret entrance and sneak around back there, or do we want to go up like we're, you know, just traveling salespeople and looking for a place to rest and then sneak around afterwards? Well. If we go the the second thing, they'll they'll know we're there, and probably keep an eye on us. If they let us inside, it's going to be probably escorted the whole time, so we won't have wander around wherever we want kind of thing. Okay. If we sneak in, then there's a whole hey, who are you and why are you in here problem. And. Um. What's the what's the timeline been? Are we like like is there a rush to get I mean we gotta like have we caught up to where the caravan is? Is that this where they are? We haven't seen it yet. Do we see any sign of a caravan from here, even though we're like a quarter mile out? You would see uh where along this this road here to the to the right. Yeah, on this side, you you would see where there had been you know recent track marks of a caravan. There is not one presently there, uh, but you do see that the road has been uh, test. Hey. Uh, you would see that where the road has been you know recently you know marred by what looks like a recent a recent departure uh, of a caravan, but there's not one presently there. So if you're looking at the overall timeline, when you guys left Aldenburg, that was about four, four full days ago. By the time you had left on your departure, you had heard from Rixie at the, uh, at the, uh, at sc scoundrels, scruples, whatever the, uh, the dank inn that he was uh, running. You named. Uh, I know, and I, I, I'm terrible at naming things. You know this by now. <laughs> uh, so. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, the caravan you had heard had already been on its way for several days. And if you recall, he had dispatched a spy on his way to keep an eye on the on the caravan. And we haven't even found that spy, huh? Uh, no, you have not. Uh, to my knowledge, you have not run across uh, the maroon hair yet. But the chances of... You guys uh, running across the actual caravan uh, has been 
somewhat doubtful the entire trip. You know that this was its destination, but you don't presently see the caravan here at the castle. So we don't even know if the dungeon is the right place to go. Assumptions can be made at this point. And Mr. Dwarf and Mage, of course, which, which we would know and remember because it's only been <laughs> an hour ago. He, he pretty much told us to get past the guards and then we would find a secret passage to the dungeon uh, in the northern part of the castle. That's what he said, right? That is what he said. Okay, good. So... It yeah, was a good detour. I think we're down to that plan A or plan B. It's, we we got to get past them. The question is, do we do it of our own free will, or do we do it with them knowing we're here, but with the off chance that they might escort us? Okay, so let's look at this way. Let's assume no matter how we do it, we get in and we find what we're looking for. Which of the ways in gives us the best way out? They oh. are doing we're there. What was that? I think if the guards know we're there. The worst thing that happens is if we go off the beaten path, they wonder what we're doing. We weasel our way out of it. But if we're trying to sneak around the whole time, and we don't know where there's guard floats. Like, are there a dozen of them? Are there 30 of them? Like, I'm not comfortable sneaking past 30 guards at any given point. Yeah, I'm not a very sneaky person myself, so... Um... We kind of need to get some reconnaissance of this place. If only Hoot Hoot was around. Or, if only we'd maybe run into that scout. Hmm. Ash, did you make it back? Are you actively here? I guess it's no. Yeah, he's... Both things say he's logged in, but... Okay, so if we go in and we pull our little con, how do we get to the dungeon? Because that's usually not where they talk about upgrading their arms and armor. That is an interesting problem. So, we need to get the, the castle tour... Is there is there a tour guide that we can get the castle tour and see where we where, what? I'll I'll have to check and see if they've sold tickets for that event. Hold on. So yeah, what if what if phase one is just we do the we, on the way to finding the quartermaster, which it looks like we're gonna have to talk to. We we just see as much as we can see of the castle to get a lay of the land. Yeah, there's nothing to say we can we don't go in, look around, even if they're under watch, then we leave under watch and then turn around and sneak back. And knowing that there's a sneaking way in, right? Right. I think that's the way to go. Who's who's got the best skill at talking their way through people? Probably people uh, with high charisma. I could probably okay. keep up the act of, of, hey, we're just shopping for, you know, certain provisions for La Bath and Beyond, and we could really like to talk to their quartermaster and see if they want to work out a deal. We got the money if you got the stuff. Okay. And, and, a couple of us are along as, as help and protection and you know, support for the trip because the journey can be dangerous, which would explain our... What was that? Yeah, Th Thongrim's the guild master, so he's like he doesn't have to put on a ruse. He's legitimately part of the guild. 
I'm just keeping up with the fake books, and everyone else is just there for escort. It's been a while since I've had to do this formally, but if I remember right, you should be able to talk to just about anybody by flashing the guild card. I mean, they, we pay enough money for it, they grease a lot of wheels. Huh, you know, that's a good point. So maybe the only one we really have to deceive is the guild master and put on like a, a fake, fake business transaction. But in all honesty, Blood Bath and Beyond took an order but just before we left for, for making armor for them. So he's already in business with, with someone at that end. That's a real good memory. At least that would, I mean, at the Aldenburg uh, uh, sect of the church, uh, because they are the ones who are awarding the, uh, the prestige and the honor to, to the guards uh, over there. And now, that probably would have been transmitted and, be, you know, somebody would know about it here um, at, the, at the castle, but all, that particular transaction happened over in Aldenburg. Right. I mean, that's where all our copper went because they wanted it copper lined or something like that. Correct. I mean, they were going to be copper, uh, they were purely and copper ceremonial uh, breastplates. But good on you for that memory. That was, you know, st yeah, stellar recall. So we just say we need some, we need more copper, we need more iron, and we need some silver for the, you know, for the fancy inlays. And, and that's it. I mean, with that, that's our end with the guy. All Maybe. you need is a dimensions and an order. Cash down, of course. Well, maybe, just maybe, we we take a tour of the castle, and I don't know. Maybe we see if they need something in the castle themselves. Like maybe their their guards can use an upgrade, or maybe their maybe their dungeon masters need some more iron for their hot pokers. I don't know. We could do a full inspection of the place. Right, right. Make offers and, and bids. Say we're here to contract, bid a contract, you know? Okay. So, when we're ready, it sounds like we talk to the guards. We need to talk to their quartermaster, Brasky. Or, or we need to tell them that we want to talk to the quartermaster. They take us to them. We talk about the Aldenburg contract, how we need more provisions, and then we ask for an inspection of the castle. In, in case they want some of that order to extend and expand that order. I like it. Are we missing something? Why are they going to give us a tour? Because we might ask, if, you know, as to, to, we could inspect their you know, current arms and, and, and things like that in case they, you know, want any fixes or upgrades. Okay, so I guess we should ask, what if they don't do, let us in? Or at least don't give us a tour. Well, we roll with it. We roll with initiative. <laughs> hey, no. That gives me an idea. Nope, nope, nope. We're just talking amongst ourselves. <laughs> oh, no, I'm enjoying this. This is great. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. We need a, we need a backup plan if they don't give us the inspection. Well, burn it. That is always an option. <laughs> Fire. I'm guessing it's a stone castle, or a, dang it, or a wood castle. It is. It is made of of stone. Um, hang on. Hmm. 
If it weighs the same as a duck. So the castle appears to be well built with uh, five foot thick walls. Uh, built. We're going to assume that Thongram has some knowledge, you know, at least he has heard stories of, of the castle uh, and would know that his, you know, was built, you know, a couple hundred years ago. Um, the ceilings, everything, they're, you know, they're high, high ceilings. Uh, most of the doors appear to be uh, reinforced wooden doors, um, but the, um, the outer doors are metal clad. Um, and, and there are some, some windows, you know, in some of the, the, the front, uh, front portion of it, you know, and some of them look like arrow slits, uh, uh, you know, standard castle fare, but it is, it is definitely stone. But if you want to set it on fire, by all means, please try. Oh, there are things that are burnable in, in all those. Everything is burnable, just given the temperature. <laughs> just ask Trogdor. I like the plan so far. I just, I don't know. I think we need a plan B if we can't see the dungeon. Or, or at least know where it is. Well, plan B is we do know, we've been told that there's a secret entrance that we can, you know, leave and come back to, so. Yeah, that just means we have to find it on the sneak. I mean, we can do that if we, if we just know it's in the northern part of the castle. Like, I don't know, maybe there's some kind of atrium or, or open area where there's a bunch of trees. Should we just keep an eye out on the on the way to the quartermaster? I think so. That's about all we can do. Well, just stay know. stay in stay in touch with uh, with uh, me so that I can uh, do guidance as much as I possibly can for our perception. How long does your guidance last? It's one. I, I have to recast for each each time use. It. I, it's like it's one concentration. Minute. What's that? You have one minute to use it. Yeah, and but it, it's only for one use. So okay, yeah, you're right. We should do it. Oh, that's right. The guards, the guards do know, like we're coming, because the border guards sent word ahead from that little outpost. So they're they're expecting us. So we, I, I don't think there'll be any issue getting in. But like the second we're in, you should put guidance on like corn or somebody to just well, be very perceptive. How how did they get in ahead of us? They sent word. We've been kind of coming straight here. Well, we had that detour with the dwarf. I'm sure they have a runner or a guy on horseback. Maybe I'm not sure. They could have had other ways of sending messages because they, while you guys were resting uh, at the outside of the border tower, they came back to you that following morning and said that they had already sent word ahead. And even if we did beat them here, we just say, well, we, I guess, beat your scouts here or your messengers here. So I guess we just need to look as. Um, unthreatening as possible so any sign of our flame red flame or any other lo uh, em what a emblems that we're showing all need to be I guess do we want to go full whatever the hand is I don't know. how much I don't think we have, we've got like one patch, I've got like one patch of, that I got from a soldier a long time ago, which I could, you know, always stick in my pocket, but do we have any other like, I mean, you know, they know we're coming, they know we're from Aldenburg, I, I think as long as we, as long as we don't have any red flame paraphernalia. I mean, like my chest, my breastplate, um, yeah, but I have my scarf on, so. Right, right. Your sash slash scarf. Yeah, my really big blanket scarf. 
you yeah. know, it has a, it has a tapestry on it. There's <laughs> no, that's not it. No, the tapestry. Where did was it? The, no, this was a purple one. You had a you had purple. The tapestry tab. is a toga, but I think I wrapped it up and put it on my saddle. <laughs> No, I do remember the purple sash, though, yes, and because that played into a battle earlier. Yes. You mean a non-battle? A pseudo-battle. <laughs> I'm still a little bitter about that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just make ourselves as conspicuous as possible and... Saunter up to the guards, I guess. Up at the front. Sounds like like we're set. Alright, well you guys go do your little shenanigans then. I'll just stand back and look exasperated. Okay. I well, guess we're... You'd be part of the protection corps like uh, Siona and myself. I know, but I'll just do that whole like I can't leave them having the protective people yeah. thing like I did last time. I think we're ready. All right, are we sure? Yes. Dongrim with us? All good. All righty. Well, then, by all means, let's, let's give this a shot. As we're... As we're walking, I cast Minor Illusion on the front cover of To the Harbor. The picture of the guild logo for the Blacksmith Guild of Aldenburg. Okay. Is there, a, is there a DC on that to see through it? Technically there is. I think it's Investigation Check. No, the DC would just be whatever your spell DC is. Yeah. Yeah, so it would be an investigation against my 15, if okay. one so chose. The investigation or perception? I, I think they'd have to be looking for it. I just, you know, wanted to be prepared. Okay. And what was the name of the original book? Uh, I think the book was called To the Harbor. And it's just a book that I'm faking as my, like, my <laughs> accounting audit book, yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. The, the ledger, full of red, full of red. Yes, yes. Well, do you want to? No, never mind. Oh come now, you can't start off with an idea and then leave us all hanging. I mean, if you want to um, use no, because I that would be dangerous to use the book of blinding as a uh, possible. So if they wanted to look at it. <clears throat> Yeah, plus, it doesn't it only blind them as long as they're holding it? No. No, it was, uh, what, what was the duration on it? It was a 1d20 roll. Okay, because I thought, I thought you got your, your sight back when we knocked, like, knocked out of your hands and closed it. That was just a matter of time. There was some coincidence going there, but it was, it was definitely a specific time period. Yeah, but I, yeah. That book's wrapped up in a, uh, in a bag. In my backpack, actually. Well, let's go storm a castle. <clears throat> you think it'll work? I'm faster than everyone else, so maybe. I, I don't think I'm supposed to tell you the odds. I think we'll get in just fine. I'm I was not sure about finding the Waiting for the miracle max response. Uh, all I remember is have fun storming the castle. Have fun storming the castle. You think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Rimshot. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the movie. So Thongrim seems to be sneaking forward. I'm not sneaking. I just don't have a road to go this way. Yeah, I know. That's uh, poor planning on my part. I should have put more more. Well, let's just like, let's just ignore the map completely and just do it all theater of mind stuff. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Maps. Uh, one way or the other. I mean, so. Um, 
Okay, so you guys get to the front door there, and the knights, you know, are keenly aware of your presence, and they say, you know, they, the, the guard to the left uh, looks at you, who goes here? Who goes there? Greens, man, we are from Aldenburg, digger, bloodbath and beyond, and uh, we've come to speak with your guild master, or <coughs> your quartermaster. Sorry about that. Um, I'm from the guild to speak to the quartermaster. It, it all works out in the end. Ah, yes, I... He looks down and starts, you know, pilfering through his, his notes and says, I believe that we are expecting somebody the... the the tower had sent word ahead uh, the, just yesterday uh, that to, for us to be expecting a, a small band from Aldenburg. Uh, I'm assuming you say that you are that. Do you have any, uh, do you have any identification? Of course I do. What honest good, uh, guild in good standing would not carry his membership. Here, let me, let me see it. Those chaps back at the tower, good lads. Top of the class, I imagine. <laughs> Although I wonder, does the people who end up in the tower, are they more or less valuable than the people who end up in the castle? Well, if you're asking me, I say the clods that get sent to the tower are not really worth their snuff. Obviously, they didn't get stationed here at the, at the headquarters. So, I mean, who, who would you say is more important, kind sir? As, as he takes the papers and gives them a, a look over. You know what I would say is the most important? is the blades and armor you're carrying. And by the looks of what we saw at the tower, y'all could use an upgrade. Not to say that the quartermaster at the tower was not doing his job, but some of those swords didn't quite have a blade. Or an edge, if you know what I mean. Uh, yes, we could always be, uh, in, in, we could always use some better, uh, arms, I say, and he kind of looks down at his, his blades. Mine tends to keep a decent edge on it, uh, but I, I take care of mine. I oil it nightly. Uh, so, uh, your paperwork, your membership seems to be in good order as he, uh, hands it back to you. Uh, if you hold here while I go inside to... Uh, check on the, the, the quartermaster. So he goes inside for, for a few minutes, um, leaving you to stare at the, uh, stare at the door and the other three guards that flank the, flank the position. So, you guys just getting on the shift or off shift? How's that work around here? Uh, we are currently on duty, sir. Well, obviously, but when's your shift end? We don't speak about such things. Oh, well, good on you. Makes it hard to buy you a drink when you're off work. Aye, but orders from the captain, straight from the top. We are... We have been told not to speak about such things. They're being honest with you, though. Letting you actually get off when you're supposed to. Or is all that sort of a ruse to make it work a little more? All in all, the, the church seems to be fair. As long as we don't cross... I uh, shouldn't have said that. Well, I didn't hear anything if you didn't say it. Thank you, sir. So the door opens, and out comes the, the first knight. It says, um, okay, uh, gentlemen, I've, I've talked with the quartermaster. He's, uh, he's got a few, a few minutes here. It is getting, uh, you know, the sun is setting. He's got some other things that he needs to tend to, but he is, he's agreed to see you for a few minutes. So, if you would kindly follow me. Following, following, following. Yes. Walk this way, if you shall, as he goose steps through. <laughs> Whoa! 
He takes you into the inner chamber, uh, the, the foyer, foyer, if you wish. In just a moment, I'll take you down the hall to the quartermaster's chambers. And you'll follow him to the left there. He raps on the door, and it opens, uh, the quartermaster opens the door. Mr. Bilbrowski, I presume! The one and only. And who might you be? Uh, my name is Thongren, owner of the Aldenburg Blood Bath and Beyond, with parts unknown, etc., etc., et et and this is my guild membership. I recently have filled an order for the church at Aldenburg for ceremonial uh, armor to uh, esteemed parted. And, and as we filled the order, we came to realize that despite serving the church for quite some time and, and selling arms and armor, that our service contract with them had lapsed and that we per perhaps were not meeting the needs of the church as well as we could have. So we've, my associates and I have left sort of an expedition to travel to the areas the church controls to solicit arms and armor deals to better equip yourselves should anything happen. With the bandit raids and things we've had in Oldenburg, the last thing we want is for your men to be unprotected or under-equipped in a time of struggle and to have to make more ceremonial armor. Never want to see such fine gentlemen under your control end up in a situation like that. All that to say, I'd like the opportunity to show you our wares and to bid for your business. Well, first I have to commend you uh, for your customer service skills. Coming all the way from Oldenburg just to hold a, a chance meeting uh, with me here uh, at, at the castle. Um, uh, first, do you say your service contract has lapsed? Uh, he, he wanders to his desk and starts flipping through some, some journals and uh, says, Ah, I see that, you know, it, it has, it, it is, it has lapsed, but you're still within a grace period, it, it, it appears. Um, well, of course, anything we sell, lifetime, uh, you know, we, we stand by our products for life. But what we did notice is that your, the arms and armor that we do not supply you, we have not been taking care of for you. You are using, <coughs> I won't slander the competition, we'll say lesser people. If the people, if your guards at the tower or anything, their blades are not carrying an edge and their armor can be quite shabby at time. If an orc bag was to hit that tower, I'm not sure they'd last long. Well, that is uh, truly disturbing. I've been, you know, I've ordered that our gear be uh, maintained nightly, and if it's if it's come under guard, I'll have to bring that to uh, to the captain's attention uh, directly, and he will he will not be pleased. But uh, rest assured, we will take care of that uh, in a, in a hurry. Um, but you, you say that you have some wares. Do you have? Uh, any on hand that we can take a look at or because uh, again I only have uh, a few minutes I, 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 I am due for a meeting uh, with the captain as a matter of fact here in just a few minutes yeah, no problem sir no problem y your man here uh, he didn't catch his name he's doing his due diligence um, may I borrow your sword momentarily uh, the, the guard the knight unsheaths his sword and uh hands it over to you with the quartermaster's blessing. See here, sir, look at the flat of this blade holding it down. Do you see the, the problem? I do, I, I do. It does seem to be a little chipped there along the, uh, along the edge. But it is oiled and maintained by your man. By no fault of his own. Now if you'll pardon me for just one moment, I'm going to show you my personal weapon. 
He eyes you carefully. I avert my eyes. Pulls out the axe and kind of shows the same blade. Do you see the edge over on this one? The care, the, the, the way. Yes, this same blade has chips, but do you see how with the right quality and with the right training, your man can, can fix and overcompensate the flaws of the blade? Go on. So what I'm saying is that our arms and armor will last longer. Should they not, we will replace them. But we will train every man on your staff and under your quartermaster yourself in the Blood, Bath, and Beyond specialty training course. Of course, it's all on us, not included as parts of the uh, deal. Uh, and they will learn to overcompensate for lesser inferior blades that they either acquire through other contracts or they pick up in the field. I, you do speak uh, good words. Um, I believe that we have been looking at overhauling our, our protocols here recently uh, and seeing as recent, you know, recent events uh, as of yesterday, we have seemed to have a lax of, uh, lapse of security uh, uh, with the, the recent church burning. I'm, I'm not sure if you saw that on the, on the road in, if you came from Aldenburg, but one of our churches just, just down the road was, was vandalized just the other night. You wouldn't have seen anything about that, would you? I believe as we spent the night at the tower, we could see the it on the horizon, if I remember correctly. Oh yes, well, that's right. We did see smoke. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not introduce myself. Raziel Ventanian, accountant for Blood Bath and Beyond. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm ah, sure Bill Brasky, nice to meet you, sir. And you too, sir. Yes, yes, we we did see some. Some some large smoke down south southwest I believe uh, didn't pay much mind but it's a oh, it's a true shame that a church had gone under flame what what had, what had happened I will say that we came across a small town what uh, Elden the name of the town with the dog gun it was Bilkendab. Bilkendab, that just came to me. Came through Bilkendab, maybe three days ago, two days ago, it seems they all blend together when you're on the road. And that town, overrun by orcs, cast a flame. Now, if it's me, I'd be looking for the orcs that burn that town. Might be the orcs that burn your church. Uh, they were looting the town pretty good by the time we showed up. I don't know if you've made it to the church that caught on fire to see if similar things have happened. But that did happen. Bilkin drab, grab, Bilkin something, totally burned half the town. Yes, we, we fortunately made short work of, of a small scout group that had, that had come through and started harassing the town, but uh, I, I fear we could not have gotten them all. I, I do believe they are the culprit. Yeah, there's something about organ smart for Gargamel, Gargamelus, I don't know. I don't speak a lot, but they was yelling a lot of it. I've, I've heard, uh, I, I've heard of uh, an increase in orc activity uh, in, the, in the area. I'm surprised that we have not heard about these, this particular band of orcs. It seems that our, our protocols have lapsed in a few more ways than, than just the one. Oh my good man, this is a time of peace. You know, you everything gets lax in a time of peace. It happens. You know, you can't fault yourself, can't certainly fault the church. People notice that, that we are no longer as attentive on the borders and maintaining the discipline that we need, and they mount an attack right under our noses. Ah, but you've hit the nail on the head there. Perception is reality, and if the people see that the church is failing to protect them, they will see the church is weak, and we can't have that. And you hit the nail on the head as well. Perception is reality, and if you're... My perception is that if you're using anyone other than Lord Bath and Beyond, you're not getting your money's worth. I see. 
Well, if you have uh, some material that we can look at and I can bring it up with my my superiors and our uh, procurement department uh, here at the, at the castle, obviously I'm the head of it, but I need to talk it over and make sure that the numbers work out and make sure that our contracts aren't up for review and such. Oh, no, of course. We'll leave a, a short sword or two with you. Um, you know, a piece of armor we might have. Uh, it's, you can understand, being that we're not fully equipped, the uh, local wares we have are not as quite as extensive as we would bring there. This is more of a courtesy call to get the gauge of the interest, at which point we would prevent a uh, full display for your undertaking. No point in making a cold call and lugging all the armor halfway across the continent just to find out that you're not interested, right? A uh, wise, wise person, and I sincerely hope that this has not been your only, your only stopping call, um, because that would be quite presumptuous of you. No, no, we're making several around here. This just happens to be the first one on the thing. We made it through the pass, again, ambushed on the way in the pass. You'd never believe that. Made it down to the cave where the, uh, all the uh, lights show used to be. Completely empty, overrun by spiders. Got all the way down to build and grab, it's on fire. So needless to say, we have not had a particularly smooth trip on the way here, which reinforces your point that things might be amok. This is troubling news, and I sincerely hate to be the messenger. Who would you be needing to tell? Well, if the words you speak are true, then I have to bring it to Captain Tajuri's attention immediately. And he does, he angers, gosh, he will not be happy to hear this. Well, you know, as you said before, perception is, is reality. Um, in, in, in addition to the normal provisions will be required for for restocking, iron, leather bands, copper, of course. Um, perhaps it might be a good idea to put in a, uh, a request for silver. We've been thinking that um, to really show off the quality craftsmanship of Bloodbath and Beyond's wares, both armor and 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 weaponry, we, we, we thought it would be uh, a good idea to take some of the some of the concepts we learned from the ceremony armor and apply them to the the day-to-day -day functional armor as well with with silver overlays of our esteemed Church of Bane symbols in the corner. Uh, based off rank and title, of course, there would be more embellishment, but uh, we thought we would do something really special for both the, the ceremonial and, 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 the, uh, and, and the, for use for the guards as well. Uh, here at the castle, at your outposts and other various stations that you control, uh, I think this would be a good, a good, uh, good, good work for the guild to do. I think it would be show uh, show a, a matter of strength. Um, and anyway, uh, we can talk about all the, all the. I pull out the book and I kind of rifle through the pages. Uh, we can get to the details of of the exact provisions we need later. But uh, we just know that we're working on improving the current stock, both in 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 form and in function. Roll me a persuasion check, Raz. You can see that uh, Mr. Brasky has been impressed with the uh, the words and such that you've that you've said uh, your your impromptu presentation. Um, so he seems receptive to uh, attempting to lend you guys a hand. Well, I hate that we've emboldened you and with bad news and going to get you a thorough tongue lashing if word is what you say. Uh, is there anything we can do to ease your burden? Well, luckily for me, it's not necessarily my, my purview. I'm just the messenger. I, mean, you know, the, I just am here to arm, you know, as a quartermaster does. Luckily for me, I am not in charge of the soldiers that seem to be at fault at the, at the tower and along the, the, the the guarded road or guarding the road so yeah, he sighs in you know relief and you can see um 
I, I don't believe that I will bear the brunt of, uh, of what's coming. But again, being the messenger, that's not fun either. As for what you can do, you can uh, provide me the list of uh, uh, contact information and places that I can, uh, and information about your, your fine products, and we can, we can schedule another meeting here soon uh, where you can actually bring, bring your wares here uh, for kind of a show and tell, dog and pony show, uh, yada yada, that, that kind of thing. And we can have the, uh, the head guards uh, come in from, the, from our guard post to see, the, to see what, what you have to offer, and we can go from there and, and look to improve our service uh, relationship with, with the Aldenburg bloodbath and beyond. Uh, again, I have, I have seen your wares, and I've been to your shop in the past, and it's always been, it's always been a pleasure. Um, well, perhaps uh, while you go, your man here could uh, take us to your storeroom so we could uh, take inventory and get you a better accurate quote for the next time. I'd hate to waste your time the next time not knowing exactly what types of weaponry you are currently have. He's a little more guarded uh, when you say. Well, regarding our, our storehouses, it's not policy for us to take vendors uh, directly to see our wares. Uh, know that we, we deal uh, with our, our primary gear um, and, and lay, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, loadout of our, of our guards and knights, it's typical lord, long swords and uh, your, your, your crossbows and short bows. Um, some of them are uh, dealt with uh, the, the finest daggers and other cutlery, um, but we, we focus on on the long sword for up close and uh, melee combat. If you've seen it, seen any of our sparring matches, you see that most of our knights are uh, extremely proficient in in their use of the long sword. I will say I have not in quite some time seen. A sparring match. Would you, would you, one of your fair people, be up for a bit of a challenge? Not myself, mind you. <laughs> a challenge, you say? Well, again, my, I, I'm. He looks at his. He looks at the uh, whatever he uses to tell time, and goes, "I'm running late now, and this. If one thing I can do to further get myself in deep shit." This is it. So I must excuse myself. Um, uh, will you be camping in the area? Will you be going on to one of our local townships? Now, uh, you know, the, the trip uh, through took us a little longer this afternoon than we expected. Uh, no recommendations. <laughs> if you have accommodations, we'd be glad they stay here. If not, you know, send us the way that's best suited. I have just broken my brain. So, <laughs> sorry. One second. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have any quarters that I can uh, spare to you uh, here at the castle. It's uh, usually against policy for us to uh, to provide uh, overnight services uh, and uh, lodging for for our vendors and for our uh, for our guests, uh, you are welcome to uh, take up camp outside if you wish, or you can. Uh, there's just another day's travel down the road. Well, not days, but you know, another several hours down the road. You could go to uh, the next town, which is going to be Somethingville because I'm bad at naming things. Um, if you want to uh, take up one of the uh, at one of the inns there. I'll make you a, a, a deal. We'll st not a deal. I'll tell you this. We'll stay outside just for the night. Uh, prep up in case you need anything or anything changes that you need. You won't have to go looking for us before we head on. Okay. We'll stay out uh, to the side, out back, not to distract from your uh, people coming to the front of the castle. We don't want to look like a hobo camp after all. You've got to maintain appearances, so we'll duck out behind, use the 
you know, general ambience of the castle to provide us all protection, and should you not need anything, we'll head on in the morning. That's a, f a fair point, yes. And, uh, I mean, camping near, you know, uh, near the castle, things should be fairly safe with our, our routine guards and everything. Uh, so, yes, there is, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of space uh, in, in to the north of here. And, that, and should anything change with the, with the information that you've provided, I will, uh, I will come seek you out uh, in, in the morning or maybe closer to the, the noon hour. I don't suppose there would be any good flora or fauna up there. You know, I've been desperately looking for a good cup of tea, and it's been too long since I've had one. Uh, I don't know much about tea, sir. Um, I pretty much just stick to the grog and the water that we have here. You see that there's a nice, you know, f fresh stream to our to our west, so we we don't lack for for fresh water. Oh, I see, I see. Well, hopefully there's a nice tree or two, nice little grove. I could steep some bark for for a spell. Well, by all means, you know, take a look around. We are, we do have some wooded wooded areas here, uh, but I'm not the person to ask. I'm just as likely to get you shit poisoned as as uh, well well uh, whatever thirstified. Oh, that's fine. I've I have unfortunately found out to the wrong way which which trees I should be steeping and which I have not. They have uh, some have left me uh, spinning for quite a long time late at night they are not good but anyway if you if you anyone sees me out and about don't worry about me i can take care of myself i'm just 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 uh seeing what the local wildlife and forestry can provide me well best of luck sir uh so the guards uh will uh will send you see you back outside uh i hope you rest well this evening and i must be on my way And he Good rushes, day, thank you, he rushes past you, past the guards, and behind Siona, apparently, and rushes through the door to your north. Um, as y'all are heading back to, uh, to the main entrance, uh, do a, well, it's not necessarily a perception check. You guys notice to the south of where Siona is, uh, there is a room that has uh, some stairways. Yes, right there. There's a stairway that is leading down, downwards. And the, the knight is shuffling you along. So y'all are all back on. Do, are, any of these doors, are any of these doors to the north open? They are not. They are, um, you do notice that they are uh, more decorated than some of the other doors. It appears to be the entrance to what you could only assume is the uh, the throne room. Uh, hmm. And so he's now sent messages. He's they're they're sharing with the guards that we're going to be around on the grounds. Uh, yes. So the guards are all aware of our presence will leave us if you want around. Uh, well, they are aware of your presence. Uh, I wouldn't say that you would necessarily be free to roam around, but they, they know that you are there and they know to expect you on the grounds. Um, I, I, I talked to the guard. Presumably he's still on duty, the, uh, the guard that uh, Balgrim was talking to. Yes. Uh, and they say, oh, 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 by the way, we, we just had to consult with, with Master Brasky. Um, he gave us a uh, fair leave to, to camp here for the night. I, I believe he said up, up above the castle there was a nice little patch of green that we could settle down for the evening. Do, would you mind um, showing us the way or escorting us there? I, yes, I would. And he looks to the other guards. Do you mind covering for me for a moment? They, they nod and go, all right. He's going to take you around the right-hand side of, of the, the castle. And give me just a second to reveal that. Yeah, we're going to go to the right-hand side, and he takes you up to the north. Hmm. 
One second. I can see half a guard. I was noticing that. <laughs> Oh, did we look in a window? Something happened. Oh, God, I'm blind. <laughs> Have you been reading again? Is that what does it? That's not what I heard. I see what you did there. Good, because I didn't. All right, that seems a little better. And so, did he say to the north and east or north and west? I think this patch over by the river looks nice. My guess would be that little clump of trees between us and the river. It's suspiciously different looking. I'm thinking like a camp right around here would be good location for us to look inconspicuous. Although maybe a little more difficult to wander around. Hey look, I just got to see a whole bunch of stuff. It's what you get for meandering around. You see a nice guard waving to you from the west. Okay. Hello. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> nice day out, eh? Yes, it is. So the, the knight that uh, brought you out here kind of talks to the other other guards that are around the building uh, and then makes his way back to the front, back to his post. So is it, okay, so I know the map size is, is, is probably a little bit, I think mean, everything to our north, is this still like open field-ish area above? And then, like, or does it eventually become treed and and such? Uh, there, I mean, there there are some grassy knoll areas and some additional forestry. Um, but I mean, it's it, you know, you you see some field work. You you see uh, you know out in the distance several several you know let's say you can you can make out some other small town townships and hamlets. Uh, off in the distance, uh, but the, the 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 castle here has a pretty good view of the surrounding area. So while there are some trees, there's not a lot that, you know, it's not going to block its immediate view here. That said, I mean it is getting the sun is starting to set. Um, and you see that the guards are making their ways around. So the guards always seem to be in motion, just walk, walking the path around? From what you can tell so far, yes. And we have only seen three that are in the walking around areas. Correct. Sorry, the the trees. When he said the the secret passage in the trees, did he say northwest or northeast or any of that to us? He did not specify. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna take a stroll east towards the forest. Just, you know, looking as conspicuous as possible. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pass a, a, this guard up north. He's still on duty. That one? Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm just gonna go back and be like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go pull some, pull a few weeds and maybe skin some bark for some tea. Would you care for some good day, today? Uh, no, thank you. Well, of course. Well, suit yourself more for me. Thank you, thank you. He eyes you, gonna... he eyes you somewhat suspiciously. So I'm gonna go but not not too deep in the forest, just I'm just gonna occlude myself as much as possible from the guard. Okay. Uh, so however however many feet in that is, and just just from there, just look around, kinda look at the, the forest floor, see what I see. Roll me an investigation check, please. Oh, I'm so good at those. Yeah, I didn't come with you. <laughs> Wouldn't have mattered. So as you're looking around, you do see some trees and some... So you do see the forest floor. Um, there does seem to be some dirt around you. Um, but you don't really see anything that you can... Uh, you know, out of the ordinary that, uh, that pops out at you. Um, you know, if you're looking for... You know, you see something that could look like it makes a passable tea, but there's you, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Mm, okay. I kind of just take five or ten minutes. Just walk back towards camp, and as I pass the guard, I'll be like, ah, I think this will work. Very good for diarrhea. Mm. He looks at you even more suspiciously. And we kind of like, uh, I don't want to get near this guy. So just uh, give it a give it a bit before you go back there. Trust me. You can see his his gait kind of increases a little bit as he continues his rounds. How deep, fast moving, or whatever is this water? Well, fast enough. There seems to be a uh, a wheel. A a. There is a, uh, say, a water wheel down there, so it's at least swift enough to to get some some gears cranking there. But yeah, deep enough. Are you moving towards the front of the castle or away from the front of the castle? I would say it's moving towards the north. He said as he hastily makes some notes. <laughs> Hey, Corin. Yeah? What do you see, or I mean, I think there's any, in the, help me look around in these uh, trees here, if there's sign of a action. I can do that, I suppose. I'll go start digging in here and looking for a, whatever I can find. And Thongrim arrives. <laughs> he shows up speaking his thoughts out loud. <laughs> Says things to himself, so none of us actually saw this. Nope, that was all to myself. None of you saw it. So Corin and, and I are kind of looking around. Uh, yes. So, if you yeah. would... One or both of you roll me an investigation check, or however you want to do that. See, at this point, Corin gets my guidance. Well, I was going to aid you in doing it. Oh, wait. Am I better at investigation? Probably. I've got a plus two. That's it. That's all. That's all I got <laughs> also. Well, then, heck, I'll just type, touch myself. So. I'll yeah, you will. Aid you. 
You're going to aid him in touching himself? All right. Yep, exactly. He gets advantage on that, touching himself. <laughs> he gets advantage plus uh, guidance. So you're oh, guiding sure. yourself and taking advantage of yourself. Awesome. I've always said, nobody does it better than yourself, right? That's right. Just being around you makes touching yourself easier. Okay. I gotta do my default. Yeah, you do. Oh. Wow, that's helpful. So you're you're you're. Don't worry, it happens to everybody. I can tell you how bad it's going, even with magical help. I might go blind. It's perfectly natural. We've told you to quit reading in the latrine, there, Elden. Um, so you're looking through, and again, you notice that these trees do seem a little, a little out of place with the other flora in the area. But you don't see what you are hoping for. Um, but you do come out of it knowing how to see you seeing these. These trees really don't match the area. Some of these trees are not like the Some of these trees are not the same. Well, we could always try burning them all down. So oh, I can't, I've got to. I've got to find a Zelda sound. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna put a campfire right there. <laughs> Just to point out, if we do accidentally burn the thing down, guards are gonna come running. I don't think we want to alert everybody tonight. So our. Our intel hasn't been helpful. Not yet, at least. It is still valid intel. It's not valid intel. Proof. But you do highly suspect that this is the area. Oh, the, the, the trees that are not like the other, we highly suspect. You do. I do? Yes. Based on what you I did. You did not, you know, your, your investigation did not um, unveil what you had hoped, but you, you have a good feeling about it. This, this, this patch of trees is unusual. I mean, we need to get on our hands and knees and start just tapping the ground till we hear a hollow sound. Well, we want to make sure we're not being too conspicuous with doing that. I agree. Probably easier to do that at night, right? So well, maybe... I think I think if we wander around, well, you're a gnome in trees; no one can see you, anyways. Yeah, that's true. Maybe um, if we, we have Raz go somewhere and start doing bard things and kind of pull attention that way. So I've got a plan. And we could we could keep your pants know, on. We're collecting uh, collecting firewood. You know, would would be a good you know reason to be checking the area thoroughly for a short time. Yes. So, Thondrum, you fishing? No, I'm just looking listfully into the water. Okay, so are y'all building camp, or what, 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 what are you doing? I believe we're, we're doing some of all. Yeah. Building a camp, the camp's going to be right around. Right here, guys? That sounds good to me. So we're going to kind of gather... Firewood and such, and... Okay. So, while you're doing that, um, go ahead and roll me a... As you're, you're, you're gathering your wood and all that stuff. We'll say that everybody's doing that. So everybody uh, roll 
an investigation and a wilderness check. Wilderness? What is that? Is that survival or nature? Nature. Damn it. Yes, that one. I can investigate with the better one, but I don't know shit about trees. We're not going to find any good tea in here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so as you're gathering and foraging and, you know, putting your camp together, you did find some... Uh, in, in the wooded areas and such around there. Uh, Raz found some prickly pear. Thongram found some elderberries. Both Siona and Corin uh, found some burdock root. And Eldon got really excited as he found some wild rice as he was foraging while looking through the, the, the rooted areas that you know around here. Uh, going along, um, as you were, as y'all were building camps and everything, uh, both Raz and Thongram come across something in, in the wooded area that appears to be um, a, a somewhat of a sealed, you know, a secret entrance, if you would. So you have both as a group found what appears to be a secret entrance and found some interesting stuff to make tea and food. Is this their garden back here? Stranger things have happened. No wonder it all looks like it doesn't belong. You do notice that the, uh, the wall to your south there, or the north end of the castle, appears to have uh, a, a small garbage chute um, coming out uh, around this area right there. Which leads you to believe that it may be like a a kitchen type area right there. I didn't see where where you. I shall ping it again, right there to the right to the north uh, or the south of that lowest green shrubbery tree thing. I'm not seeing your. Here, your ping, pinging again. Can you not see me? No, nope, I'm not seeing your targets. All right, is anybody? Whoever, whoever was yellow pinged it as well. That was me. Yes, you pinged it right there. That's the right place? The yes. Description. Oh, who's purple? I'm purple. Okay, so I'm not seeing, still not seeing Adam's then. Uh, make, sure you're on the, make sure you're on the uh, arrow. There it is. Okay. All right. I see. Um, so I've got two screens open. It's one where I can see what you see, and one where I can see what I can see. Oh, gotcha. Now I know why y'all have not seen my pings earlier. Got it. Okay. Okay, so you... So we're below the kitchen. You're to the north of the kitchen. Is the kitchen on the second floor? You only see one floor at the moment. Oh, okay. So, so we are able to to kind of sneak into this entrance, or is it is it covered? Is it locked? It is covered. Um, it is in the wooded area. Um, it is in. Make sure I'm on the right area here. It is. I mean, Eldon and Corin were right on top of it. They just couldn't see it. Um, so you need to. You could just get into it, but you risk being seen by the patrol. Okay. Well, let's... So we know where it is, so let's kind of make camp and kind of... You know, watch the pattern of the guards and make sure that we're not... You know, we can... And, and anything that the windows might be seeing up in the... You know, the... Kit off the kitchen. Kind of plan on do we want to go in tonight or do we want to wait overnight for the response from what's his name Bill Bixby? 
Bill Brasky. He's a real Brass. son of a bitch. What would we like to do? Do we want to try and sneak in tonight? I mean, if we if we stay if we try and do it after we've got our response, there's not much reason for us to be hanging around. True. But if we get caught in there while they think we're supposed to be just traveling salespeople, I guess. Then it sounds like there might have to be an inside and outside presence. Let's put it this way. If we're if we're not supposed to be here and we get caught outside, that doesn't look good. So if if we, we, would, if we would we, have the cover, we would have the cover of the fact that our camp was here. We said, oh, we've lost something. We're looking for, uh, we thought we left it back at this camp. So I'm saying is if we do it tonight and it goes well, because, you know, that's how we roll, then tomorrow morning it won't be suspicious we're here. I think if we're doing recon purposes, only one of us needs to go, probably Corrin, and the rest of us needs to stay here under the guise of, oh, we're all here, we're all camping, nothing to see here. Split the party. Yeah, I mean, not not like split the party, but we we gotta have a scout. I don't, I don't trust all of us as scouts. That's true. I would I wouldn't trust me to sneak anywhere. Take your armor off. But maybe with a little guidance and inspiration, Corin can be just like a shadow. A shadow followed by a quarter warrior wearing gnome. <laughs> Guidance isn't. I have to be able to touch to give guidance. Well, you know, you could always hide in the sack of shit. (laughs) Well, you could give it to him, like, right before he makes a, you know, it'll last a minute, I guess. Yeah, right before he leaves, of course. I can give him his one shot that lasts a minute. And inspiration lasts ten, so that'll, that'll buy him some scouting time, hopefully. So, so that that's my vote. It's we wait till it's middle of the night. We we get a good pattern of the patrols, and then when it looks clear, Corin goes. Corin, what say you? I mean, I guess I'm the best chance at sneaking. But you know, we'll see how that goes. Some of some of my days aren't very. Uh... Wait, who has the? I'm sorry, who has the? Um... What's that thing where you message back and forth? I've got it. It's called message. Oh. Yeah, who's got message? <laughs> I do. So you could keep in contact with them. Maybe. What's Let the range? Not kind of. There's there are some rules that inhibit message. Like Deep like stone. one foot of stone. Yeah. One foot of stone will do it, so it's not going to go through these walls. Oh, okay. It's a good thought, though. Can you put a hunter's mark on a friendly? I mean, it can be cast on anybody. There's no specific thing that says it must be hostile. Because with Hunter's Mark, you can kind of, like, track someone, can't you? Track them, like, like follow their footsteps, not spin around and point to yeah, where Yeah, just at. like I have advantage on tracking them. Okay. Well, just don't get caught. It's that simple. I'm opening up the stash to see if I can see what else you guys have. Really good time to have a familiar. Is this door like in the ground, like it goes straight down? It leads. It leads downwards. Down. Okay. Ka- kind of at an angle. You you peer. Kind, you... Of, kind of thing that if you if you stumbled upon it, you could fall into it, right? So the story would be you stumbled. 
akin to such a thing and trying to find your way out. Well, here, here's the problem. I assume we're still trying to get to that room down here. Well, we're, we're trying, I guess right now it's still reconnaissance. We need to find out if, if, cause this is all, is this about Quinn, right? Trying to get, find out if he's in the dungeon. Or his the book he, scroll he's carrying, right? So it's reconnaissance to see if we can find, you know. So here, here's my concern. Like, just take the part we looked at. That's a narrow hallway, which I'm sure is decently lit with two guards. I can't sneak through that. Assuming they're still on duty. But this doorway goes directly to the dungeon, right? The back area. So we went through there. I'm just saying, if, if what if the rest of the place is like that? Hmm. Alternative solutions is I can cast the sky self. At least then I'll look like I belong. Yeah, you could. You could do it to someone who's on patrol on the outside, so you won't accidentally run into yourself. Yeah. But then it might be, hey, aren't you supposed to be on patrol right now? Hmm. Hopefully with inspiration you could... Uh, I don't know. That's, that's actually still the best plan, though. So we can we can try this, and I can just like run like hell. Well, if you've got disguise, and you get caught, it doesn't. They don't then see who you are. So if you turn, run, and find a way to get out, and then take the disguise off, we just look like we're camping. We can sing and make things smell like meat. I mean, I also have that guards uniform that we took off the, the people we ambushed. Yes. So it's not necessarily, I wouldn't have to go alone. But even if you're wearing the outfit, your ability to sneak in there is probably drastically okay. improved by yourself. Yes, but what if we flip this around and go cliched? And I'm guessing this is either Raz or Siona puts on that uniform because I don't think it's going to fit Thongram or Elden. I disguise self into not being, you know, me. It doesn't matter who I am. We go in, We go underground, get to the dungeon, and if there's someone in there, oh, I'm the prisoner you, the other, you, know, you caught sneaking in. And you think they would not? And then if there's only one of them, maybe some stabbing happens. That may... I mean, if there's stabbing, then I would nominate Siona, right? Unless it's rogue stabbing. Well, it's going to be both of us stabbing. Like whatever it takes oh, okay. to guard from making noise. Well, may, I, would maybe think, I, I don't feel like this place is so big that they wouldn't that they would have a guard that they wouldn't recognize, right? So someone has to look like someone they recognize, and then the other person has to look like a prisoner. Okay. Well, if I if we do that, I'm not going to sound like the person they recognize. That's true. Come on. You guys go. Figure it out. Roll with it. We could also do the plan <laughs> I just said. Do, do the plan I just said, except I'm disguised as the guard, and the other person's still wearing the uniform, and this is someone we caught trying to sneak in in a false uniform. Would we, looking at the uniform and pretending that we're pulling it out of the bag or whatever, 
Does this match the uniform of the Castle Fredericksburg Guards? When did we get this? Uh, this was the the ambush when we were fought that that guy who pisses who we upset like in the Griffin tavern. Guards, yeah. I but would we killed New Aldenburg. Aldenburg. Um, I'd say it's probably a fairly standard uniform for the for this even region. If even if it's not, I can still disguise self and say, "Hey, I caught a deserter." Yeah, I, I'm, that's, I'm, that's I'm going with it. Two people that gets us two people in there instead of just me. Yeah, I'd say it's close. Uh, it's close enough. Um, because it is the regional one. I mean, on initial inspection, you'd probably you'd probably pass the mustard. But if they really looked at you, you know, let let's say you know if they, they actually stopped and looked at you, you might not you might not pass. It should probably be Siona then, because if shit hits the fan, she can slice and dice, and she probably looks most like the warrior here, like someone who would be a soldier. <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> Something like that. So, right. so, so we we'll make okay. things smell like meat and sing a whole bunch to keep everyone thinking that we're out there. I have so that's my other question is if you could be in the tunnel near, it'd be helpful too, but I guess you gotta have the, dis the distraction outside. Yeah, we don't want to look. Gone. We're not near. The fire is only 15, 10, 15 feet away from where you are. So we're not too far away. No, but I need someone in the tunnel if I'm going to cast message. Otherwise, the castle will block it. So if we have two people outside of the fire, one person in the tunnel, and then two people, right? There's five of us, right? And then two people actually going scouting the castle how about how about me and Thongram stay at the fire and i can i can i have a little plan for distraction outside if it comes to it eldon you're the go-between for message Sion and corin play the the prisoner slash guard respectively i think that sounds fair all right now i just need to know who, what you know i guess i need to get close to one of these guards to look like them Okay. Where, okay, so the walking path over here, this guy on this corner here, he's walking the wall. Like, does he pass this tree here and go around up here? Or is, is this guy coming over? I mean, what's their, what do we, okay, so we're going to take some time and figure out their pattern. What's their pattern? Let's put it that way. Okay, so you would see that this guard, here, let me come over here, this, this guard tends to make a pattern from here to, you know, roughly here, overlapping with this guy who goes from here to here on this corner, on the northeast corner. There's a, where this guy comes down the riverside, right? Yes. Now, how long will you have been watching? Maybe an hour. Okay. So, uh, we're eating right. and making meat smells. You got the meats. Uh, so you would you would notice um, actually roll, roll me a perception check. Whole team. Whoever's paying attention to the to the watch. I think at this point we all want. No, well, I'll roll and you can help me, so I'll get an advantage. Okay. And guidance. Sounds good. Okay, good enough. 17's enough without the guidance. So, um, 
you would notice over the you know towards the later part of the hour as the uh, the guard comes rounding the the corner uh, the, the guard appears to be um, appears to be different same uniform but different different person made a guard change the guard well that's good we don't want them changing the guard after I've gone in Right. Yeah, good point. So is it go time? You'd say his patrol probably takes, you know, going oh. back and forth, you know, say... So since point. we recognize he's new, uh, who needed to get close to a guard to... I did. Okay, so maybe we go in ourselves to make sure he knows us. Hey, we've been just hanging out. Just thought we just saw we, that, that you got on duty, so wanted to say hi. Well, I was going to go down. I was going to go down to the river and try and time a chance meeting with him. Sure. I, I would come down there, act like I'm taking a piss or something. When he walks by, I want to walk up to him and just be like, "Hey, you know, we're shipping out in the morning. You." Any place around here to get a good drink. These people are driving me freaking crazy. Sounds like a good plan to me. Like strong drinks. Okay, so the guard comes around. Uh, we're assuming that this is that this has happened. Um, One second. Okay, so the guard comes, um, you know, he's making his pass um, up around the corner there, and he uh, comes across to you and sees you uh, take, taking a leak there in the river um, and just kind of kind of stares at you a little bit, you know, making eye contact. You know that awkward eye contact when you're taking a piss and somebody's watching you. Hey, there's there's four urinals in here. You don't need to use them right now. Yeah. Ah, he looks. Uh, at well, I, you know, I, I, that I've you know finish up and then just kind of walk up to him and say what I said a second ago. Okay, repeat it to me again. Sorry. Like, like, it's like, hey, yeah, we're, you know, the group and I are shipping out tomorrow after we, your captain comes back and tells us some stuff. These people are driving me, you didn't, and you didn't hear from me, freaking insane, and I need a drink. What would, do you know the best place for us to go when we leave here to where I can not remember what, anything had happened? Uh, he, he looks at you, kind of looks you up and down. Huh. I, I know where we could go. Farthing Town, just a couple of hours down the road. Got the best drinks in the, in the area. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll fancy a drink with you, eh? Sure, Farthing Town. You know we leave. Well, I would say in the morning, but who knows when your boss is going to get back to us? Okay. What, what's your name? Ah, people around here, they call me Tim. What's your name, big guy? Big guy? Hey, Tim, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Raz. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's an interesting name. Uh, where, it's, uh, where do you hail from, Raz? Oh, you know, here and there, I'm just kind of a, uh, we're, we're, my employer is out of Al Al uh, Albenburg, so I guess that's as close as home as any. Uh, well, yes, I've heard about it. And say, Farting Town does say hours. I meant like 20 minutes down the road. I don't know. That means uh, it's been a long day. You know, I I'm ready to get out of here myself and grab a, grab a brew. Um, 
So did you, did you not just come on watch? I know, but it's been a day. You ever had those kind of Mondays that just is the Mondayest Monday of a Monday? Yeah, I. Uh, you should try traveling with this group for more than twenty minutes. Is that an invitation? I mean, I'm I'm sure I go talk to uh, yeah, Thongrim. He's always looking for more guards. Well. It might look a bit suspicious if I just kind of take off, and I mean they don't, they don't take kindly to uh, to deserters around here very well. No, I can imagine they don't. But if you're looking for a stiff drink, I'd gladly take one with you, Raz. Yeah, you know. Well, like I said, I'm I'm in dire need of some, so. Well, maybe, maybe on the morrow. Well, I'd love to catch a stiff one with you if it gives you a wink. But if you don't tell anyone, I got a little bit of a nip right here if you want it. And he, you know, nods down to his down to his waistcoat where he looks like he's got a flask hanging on his side. <laughs> I can't right now because you know my boss is literally. 20 feet away and doesn't look kindly on a drinking on the job. Uh, I see. I, I I understand. But if, you know, if you... If you're ever, if you're ever in Alden, Aldenburg, if I don't catch you tomorrow, look, look up Raz Hill. You go by Raz, you know, I'm Bard, you know, if he's like, play some music here and there. Yeah, what's, what's your favorite music? My favorite music, you know, music, I'm good with a lute. Ah, yes, I love a good lute. The strum of the strings. Ah, yes. You're good with your fingers, eh? <laughs> I'm going to uh, slowly walk back over here now because I can see my boss glaring at me. I hate, I hate for him to go tell your boss that, you know, I'm... You're being distracted from your job. And I hate to also get in trouble for distracting you. That's a good point, Raz. You, you seem like a good guy. Well, uh, I'll be on the lookout. Don't worry, I'll be around here for the next couple of hours. So if you need anything, just give me a whistle. Will do. <laughs> he continues on his uh, patrol. But he looks over his shoulder back at you and, you know, He's like, mm -hmm. I, as, as I walk over, I give him a quick wink and keep on walking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he he's like he he chuckles to himself and he kind of he responds with this you know that 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 good old wolf whistle. Mm hmm. And let just loud enough for the rest of the group to hear it. So he I just keep on walking. So did you uh, get a good uh, look at him? In and out? I got a good enough look. Would you say you look like a <clears throat> member of the guard? I I know what I need to do. Let's uh let's get the show on the road. Before Rass makes a new friend. I, I will give him the same whistle the guard did that I heard, which is also his inspiration. <laughs> I'll have give him some guidance. So yeah, Raz, if you uh anyone comes looking for you, it's uh I have no idea why why they would, but they might. <laughs> you owe them a drink. Uh, uh, what? Don't worry. He might buy you one. Uh, oh, okay. We'll have to talk later what that means. Uh, as... As, uh... As, uh... As corn gets ready, I go over to Siona. I say, Please don't kill me for this. 
but you'll appreciate it later. And I punch her as hard as I can in the left eye. What the fuck? <laughs> so... Wait, don't you have to roll to hit me? <laughs> it's a sucker punch. I, I might allow... F- I think I'm gonna allow this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you get advantage. Her, 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 her chest plate protects against her face. Being punched. <laughs> okay. Oh, my duck it. <laughs> All right. Well, hang, we're gonna since we're we're calling it here. That's funny and knock you out cold. <laughs> Raz, roll, <laughs> roll an attack with advantage. Do you want to give guidance on this one, Eldon? <laughs> Uh, he gave him guidance. For, I didn't think it was oh, that. All right. <laughs> Just missed. <laughs> Just missed. Jeez. Just missed. Okay. Um. But we're gonna say that the wind blew it. Blew it into it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fiona accepts the punch. And then lays hands on herself. Like, oh. <laughs> lays hands on herself. <laughs> so, no, he... no more touching themselves. No. <laughs> so, Fiona, wait, wait, don't kill me. Trust me, in like three minutes, that left eye is going to pucker up real nice and you're going to look the pot. The part of the prisoner? Exactly. See? See? You you, 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 you and me, you, you got this. And I start pointing back and forth like, ah, yeah, we got the thing. You, you get it. And I also pull out my disguise kit and just kind of haphazardly draw a couple of nasty looking cuts on her chin. Okay, so we're going to say that you connected with her. But she didn't take n- any damage. Just knock, knocked her eye puffy a little bit. <laughs> no. You just put some purple on there to make it more, you enhance the color, you know? You got it. Pat, 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 rub, rub, rub. Yeah, if you can make, pull out the, the makeup kit anyway, why'd you bother... Because I have an intelligence of eight, and I still start working on the eye a little bit with a disguise kit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Siona, would you care to respond to Eldon's uh, observation? Well, no. <laughs> I'm just go- I'm just looking at him. Okay. Letting him put the makeup on me. Not biding your time to get him back at some point. Well, he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Nope, I think she's fully appreciative right now. All right, so y'all are donning your makeup. You have just decked the paladin. Uh, Corin has just gotten, quote unquote, Raz, a new buddy. And. There are some meat smells going on. There seems to be some singing. The patrol is going on. Have I set the scene? Is there anything else in this cavalcade of awesomeness that I have missed? I think that's about it. Have you just renamed your axe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering how we're going to get this secret door open, or have we figured that out yet? No one's really I was even wondering tried about it. that. Like, did anybody try the door? <laughs> Everybody has made this huge plan just to assume that we see this door looking thing and nobody's we, we touched it. We know there's a door there, we haven't checked if we can open it. Great! <laughs> Well, we had a 20 investigations, so that would have at least found the door. I don't know what else we need to... I guess, is there anything about the door that would make it accessible from the outside? I mean, I guess there'd have to, unless it's an only a, an exit door. So you're saying... It's you can't, back, so it might be an exit only. So you can't go in through the outdoor. 
right? I mean, Tim may be disappointed. <laughs> uh, right. So the 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 panel that the area you found was uh, covered in leaves and debris and and such, but there was a, a, a bit of an outline there, and it does seem like there is uh, there was a there was an, a rusted iron ring um, on one side of the panel. Okay, well, being aware of where the guards are, I guess we should probably test the door while the makeup's being put on. Okay. Yeah, and I, I guess I can check it for traps and whatnot too, just to be safe. Ah, nobody's got time for that. So, Thongram grabs the iron ring and he lifts up as quickly as he can, as he can, um, not holding on to the ring strong enough. He notices that the the lid does, uh, the panel does open just a brief bit before it falls out of his fingers with a bit of a thud, and he tumbles backwards, you know, ass over tea kettle because he couldn't hold on to the ring. But the door did move. It did See, move. look, the door moves. My job here is done. All right, so I guess I'll go over there and try and lift the door. I'll, I'll, I think I'll go assist with my eight strength. Um, you want me to strength check or what? And my... Ability, is that an ability check? Yep. Yeah, it's a strength check. Yeah. Everything that's not an attack roll or a saving throw is an ability check. Yep. Good for guys. So, there's. <laughs> I go there and show Thongram how it's done. You're welcome. <laughs> You're really loosened it for you. You roll. You roll in that twenty and you take a minus to it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nat nineteen. Way to go. Because <laughs> you were helped by another eight string. So see, if I unstuck it so well that even you could lift it. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, Thongram. So the door opens with <laughs> with panache at this point, and it reveals a, a stairway that leads down into a, into a tunnel area. Um, a stonish tunnel. Everything seems to be well lit, um, or at least lit enough uh, for you to see. We're not talking like glowing lights coming, you know, shooting out of the sky a la the hatch from Lost, but, you know, it is, you can see what's going on down there. Everybody got really quiet. Okay, so it's not just... Uh, Sorry, I was asking uh, Will something, so we didn't hear whatever you said. Okay. So the door opens up to reveal a lit stone corridor uh, below, at the, at the base of a stairwell. Um, it is lit well enough to where you can see uh, without you know, without worry, but it's not like a bright, you know, given the orientation of the stairway and the tree cover and everything, it's, it doesn't seem to be producing enough light at this point to, uh, overshadow the, 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 the fire that's going in the middle of the campsite. Okay. Are we makeup ready and disguise ready? I can cast this, I'll cast disguise as soon as we decide to go. Ready. Are we when clear we on the, clear on the plan, Siona? Yep, all clear. All right, so I cast Sky Self on myself and look like good old Tim. Tim. 
I guess real fast before we go, uh, your armor and whatnot, you probably can't be wearing that. I'm not taking this off. It's well, not going to, the uniform is not going to fit over top of it. Yeah, she switched to the other uniform, right? Right, she's wearing the guard's uniform. I was wondering when this was going to come up. I'm wearing, like, chain mail or some shit. You can put cloth over that. I thought you not were wearing... plate armor. I have a mithril chain mail. Ah. Mithril, that's actually... Is it really mithril? Yeah, I got it from when we got the sword and all that. It's Fiona Iron Song's uh, armor set. And for the life of me, I, I, I couldn't remember that it was mithril chain. I, I knew yeah, it was mithril. It was, pl- it, it was we mithril said mithril plate, plate, but we changed it. And then it. we changed it because that would have actually taken you down one. Yeah, it would have taken my uh, AC down. Yes, okay. I remember. Now that rings a bell. Alright, well you definitely can't have your sword, so I'll have to hold that. Nah. You're my prisoner, you can't have a sword on you. I'll give it to you if you need it, but... Yeah. So... Siona Who's... appears to be liking this plan less and less. Who's giving me a dagger, then? You can have one of mine, but I'll, I'll take it. If anything happens, I'll give you the sword straight in the first thing. Yeah, okay, I'll give you my that's fine. Thank you. Because you're way better at fighting than I am. Actually, I, would would my rapier be able to be concealable underneath uh, her like her cloth over her chainmail because it's kind of thin? Good question. Uh, yeah, but what if we get attacked? Yeah, let's just go with a dagger, and I'll give her her sword. Okay, that's cool. I'll give you a spare dagger. Yeah, All right. All righty. So here we go. Yeah, so I've got her shield and her sword shot to my back. Okay. So Raz and Thongrim are manning the campfire and listening. I'm at the base of these stairs with the door to it just slightly ajar. The, the, right? So that if I yell, it can be heard. Yeah. Not I'm, I'm, I'm going to go by just judging on this, you know, this turn. Messages are going to get through that dirt either. So. Oh, I have that charm that, like, amplifies my voice. I mean, it's going to be really loud. Which is great for self-checks. Oh, I mean, like, if we get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you have it, and I'm glad that you I remember it. I have it, I'm just saying. Hey, this is good. We are remo- we are- First off, I'm proud that we've all remembered why we came. Two, that we're remembering all the shit that we actually have on our hands that we can use. This is great. We're doing really good today. <laughs> Actually, take back what I said a minute ago. I'm going, I'm going to hold Siona's sword and shield as if they were my weapons, since they use long swords. That is a better plan. And I guess we've gotten some, you know, a little bit of rope or something and made a what looks what look yeah what, something that looks like her hands have been tied behind her back. I believe that you guys have some hemp rope or something or spider silk rope. Don't I've got silk rope. Uh, has anyone got any uh, what hemp rope we can cut up? I think there's fifty feet in the bag you can steal. Well, Siona's got a length of rope from the orcs. That sounds shorter and less useful, so let's cut that up into... or whatever long enough to make it look like she's been restrained. Okay. So... As as part of my disguise self as Tim, I've also put some bruises and stuff on my face. Looks looks like I was hurt while uh, 
restraining her, including a bruise on my neck. Yeah. Um, do me a favor when you are t when you are doing the, the the knots on her hands. Roll me a um, a sleight of hand for me. Okay, so good. You you were able to do it lightly enough where it looks like it's restraining her, but she could easily pull herself out of it. Um, if you would have whiffed the roll, we could have made it. Uh, it was going to be like a, a like a granny knot that would take her some trouble to get out of. So, all right. So we are in the we are in the tunnel um, that makes a a dog leg to the to your left. Uh, which leads directly into a wall. Like right here is the wall? Right there. Well, guys, this is a, an interesting little hiccup. I'm going to start looking around for any kind of secret entrance or whatever. Need some help? Yep. Okay, we're not too far in, I guess. So, of course, you have my guidance and my axe. <clears throat> of course, and my bow. <laughs> so you notice that the wall is. It, it has your sword. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He definitely has your sword. <laughs> my blade, my bow, and my axe. So you notice that the wall leads to uh, that has, it looks like it is a secret door. Ooh, who would have guessed? So, how would you well, like... That's going to open right into a room full of people, isn't it? Can I press my ear up to it and see if I can hear anything on the other side? Absolutely. Give me a perception check. I assume I'm getting touched again. You know you like it. I probably don't need it, but there you go. Now, so, the... You press your ear up against the chamber, up against the wall, and you hear uh, nothing. You... It's just from what you can... Ascertain from this, it seems like whatever's on the other side of this room, or this wall, I whatever, is empty. All right. Do I see any way to open the door? Uh, looking at the floor, you do see that it. Uh, there are some, you know, scratch marks. It looks like the wall kind of pivots along its center. Uh, along its center channel. So if you're looking at it uh, to on this side here, the bottom side here on that bottom tile has some scratch marks so, you know, kind of closer to a 45 degree angle it looks like this door rotates uh, away from the left and into the right. So clockwise? Yes, that would be a much better way of looking at it. Yes, clockwise, thank you. All right, well, I'll go up there and give it a start pushing on it. Not too hard. I don't want the in case it flies open. Give me a strength check. And I still have the guidance that I didn't use last time, so. Are you sure you want to use it? Right there, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you get up there and you push on the door and you. You push on it, and it the door gives a little bit easier than you would have expected. And it, as you push it, it makes kind of a screeching noise as it juts forward. Um, so it's not a loud one, but it was much louder than you would have thought. All right. Um, what do I see? Like looking through the next room. Yeah, 
I was about to do that. I was rolling something else real quick. Just reveal. So you pick your, poke your head through the opening and you see this uh, square chamber. Uh, in the center of it, it uh, there's a, a uh, looks like a, a well of, of water. Um, on the southern side, do you see a corroded mace lying? Um, it's it's lying here on the southern wall here. Uh, to the east, you see a door to the north and a door to the south, or on the southern part of the wall there. The room is empty outside of this uh, this well water. It does uh, appear to be a a washroom of sorts. Is it lit? Yes, for, for all intents and purposes, just assume everything here is uh, lit enough for you to see um, without a torch or without dancing lights. Okay, uh, where are the yellow things the doors or? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in and again, listen at that door after getting yelled in the touch me one more time before I go in. And, and at this point, is, is uh, Siona going in? Yeah, she'll just be behind me. Okay, and then I'm going to... Uh, I mean, I'll stay within earshot, trying, as long as I don't... Yeah, so I'll be to here, and, and I'll run, be able to run back. Once we leave this room, try to close that door as quietly as you can. In case someone else comes in here. Can, can, oh, can we verify that it can... You can give me a strength check, uh, Eldon. Wait, to verify that it can be opened from the inside, from inside the room? Well, it's rotating on a, on a axis. We're talking about this... This door the, right there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So all I want to know is that, that if I close it behind them that they can get through it from within this room when they come back. I see what you're saying. Um I'm I'm not bang on it. you know, I'll bang on it a couple times, if not. I can probably message through that door if you're on the other side. Let's say say hey, open it from that side. Okay. So as long as we know we can we have an escape. But it also seems like, I mean, this door seems to be, they come from this way to get out, so. Okay. All right, guys. Good luck. All right, so I'm listening for more. See if anyone, like, if I can tell if someone's coming now. Okay. Perception check, please. And I'm going to use some guidance on that, and this will be, I'm out of guidance. No, inspiration doesn't do this one, though, right? Uh, I could if I wanted to. Is inspiration you only get to use it once? Yeah. In the 10 minutes or something? Something like that. Okay, so you're listening, uh, and you don't hear anything beyond the door. All right, is there like a keyhole I could look through? No, it, it just looks like it's a... Imagine as standard a latch door as possible. It doesn't appear to have a locking mechanism on it. All right, so I wave over the Elden. Like, all right, get that door closed quietly, and we're going out. All right, Elden, strength check, please. Gently. And you've already used my, so I can actually. Yeah, go for it. You're free to. Free to touch yourself, buddy. Go to town. <laughs> okay. Strength check. Yes, please. Is that which one is that? The one click on strength. Not the, the non. Yeah. Okay. All right. So taking into account that you're a wee little fella, um, then you are managed to put all your oomph on the the, the right hand side of it, and you know you're pushing. You're able to push the door closed, but even with all of your strength, it's. You know, it's not enough to make a, a noise on it. So uh, the door shuts to a close, 
Uh, and from your perspective, it looks just as you had entered the room, and from Siona and Korn's perspective, it blends seamlessly into the rest of the room, uh, and you can't even see. They they can't they with that, they'd have to really look to see the edges of the door. All right. Well, I'm going to crack this door open and take a look and listen out. Okay. I'm assuming you 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 said you cracked it open, so you don't see. Yeah, I'm just basically you know trying to look for make sure no one's around. Well, you look through, and you do happen to see someone right there. Do they see me? I will tell you in just a second. They have not seen the, the crack in the door yet. All right, well, then I will, you know, slowly close that door. Okay. I'll just kind of look back at Siona and be like, okay, quiet, and we will go to the other door. And same thing. Okay. Uh, roll the perception. Or are you, yeah, are you listening or are you just opening? I will listen, but I'm just not hearing much. No. All right. So you're going to crack that open and we're going to do about the same thing we did this last time. You can see. So you can see it's roughly that far. Actually, it's it's well lit, so you can. You're gonna have to forgive me. the 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 map wasn't playing well with me, so there's a lot of extremely long hallways. The castle was bigger on the inside than it was on. Well, remember, we are underground at this point, too. Oh, tunnels. So that's what you see. You see a long hallway um, that ends in a 90-degree turn to the right, and you hear the door opening to yourself. All right, well, I grab Siona, and we kind of just get through that other door as quickly as we can. All right. Close the door behind us. Okay. So, let's do a dexterity check. Let's see what happens. They're helping each other this whole time. I was going to say, all right, we're going to use this. Or am I just helping him? Yeah, we're doing this as a Yeah, you're, do, you're doing it as a unit, so I would say if you're doing that, you get advantage on it. So you, may, you manage to slip through the door. As you shut the door behind you, the other door opens, um, but you wouldn't know that. Um, so that reveals this, you know, so you can see the rest of your hallway here. of the door. You two are on that side of the door. Alright, I'm going to stand here and listen and wait <clears throat> for a couple seconds in case he comes through. Okay. Alright, so you hear the guy in the in the room. Um, he's marching. You can't hear exactly what he's doing, but he's marching in the room. Um, and the footsteps seem to be getting a little bit louder um, to where you are. So, what would you like to do? So I just look over at Siona like, and whisper, like, if this guy comes in here, do we want to sur surrender or kill him? Could we just block the door? Would that, would that be dumb? 
Can we just run down the hallway? All of these are valid options. Um, who has the movable rod? Bag. I believe it's in the bag. Yep. All right, well. I'm going to wait here for a second longer, and if he comes through, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to attack, though. I'm going to go on this side, though, as if I was walking towards that door. Okay. So, you hear that the, uh, the, the guard attempts is starting to open the door. Okay, so I'm just going to let him. Okay. He opens the door, and he sees you there, and goes, uh, but, uh, and he's kind of stunned to see somebody. I didn't expect to see anybody here. What, what are you doing here? Yeah, you know, I've got my sword kind of in a threatening posture towards Siona, and pointing to the giant bruise on my neck, I kind of just like, I, Got this person trying to sneak in. You know, hoarsely whispers, we can't tell I'm not Tim. Uh, it's been a long night. Uh, so, who you got in your hands here, Tim? What, what'd you say? I didn't hear you. Is, Lindsay was laughing at your accent. I love oh, you're having a laugh, are you? What, you come on, shift. I've been working my ass off for 10 hours. Just laughing. Yeah, yeah. Have a laugh, Tim. It's fine. Who the hell do you got there? Who, who is she? Who is this? I, I don't know. I, I caught her snaking in. She put up a fight, hit me right in the throat. Can't, can't speak. But she's wearing a uniform. I think she's a deserter or something. Deserter? Yeah. Where'd you find her? She was, you know, I was out on patrol. And she was sneaking around down here and I chased her. Oh, shit. Hey, you. What's your name? You, girly. I'm talking to you. What's your poker, name? Poker with her sword in the back. Barb. My name's Barb. Damn it, Barb. <laughs> Rest in peace, Barb. <sighs> Deserter. <laughs> you picked the wrong place to be a deserter. What do you think you get off deserting the army? I'm talking to you. What makes you so special you think you can desert? I, I don't think I'm special. I just needed to leave and they wouldn't let me leave. So I left and now I'm back. I was hoping if I snuck in, nobody would notice that I'd been gone. Yeah, well, we keep a pretty tight shifts around here. We kind of notice those things. Yeah, I'm sure the, I'm sure the dungeon could use another, has another spot free for someone like you. Hey, what'd you say your name was again? Oh yeah, Bob. <laughs> hey Tim. Uh, what? When's your shift over? Not for too long. Oh, not for too long. Oh, I thought you just came on shift. Well, it's not for... It's too long from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really need a drink. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about what we found it later. We'll have a drink. Why don't you, uh... Why don't you go take over to the, uh... Take over the dungeon. I'm sure they'll have good, good fun times with this one. Yeah, she just after she did to me, she kind of deserves it. Well, uh, I'll get her there now. I poke her, you know, with the the sword. Like, let's let's get moving, you. Yeah, but Ed, Ed, when you do that, make sure you uh make sure you report to the main office. Tell them we got one in the dungeons. All right. 
Oh, I will. And then I'm gonna have to go get someone, you know, someone get me a healing potion after that. And by that, I mean, you know, your whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, well, hurry up. Okay. You know, you know how the captain is about shifts around here. If he sees someone up north and not in the spot, he's gonna throw a freaking tantrum. Yeah, I know, and I'm not used to coming down this way. What's the what's the quickest way to get where I'm going? Roll a. <laughs> Hold on. Let's. Uh... I'm gonna give. Uh, what did you call him? What was? What was your guard's name? Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, do an insight check for me as soon as he asks the question. Against my deception check? Yes. Oh, well, he's going to know what I'm doing. All right. So you're, you're going to know that he, you're going to see through his shit going, what do you mean you don't know where to go? Wait, you said quickest way there. What the hell do you... You don't know the way... You do lost your freaking do marbles. You, do, do you see the bruise on my head? Do you see the bruise on my neck and how I can't talk? You let this girl put up that much of a fight. She hit you on the noggin. You don't all bonkers on me. She's a little bit stronger than I am. Oh, feel free to pull her restraints off and you all two can tussle. <laughs> I just kind of glare. Roll, uh, roll an intimidation check for me, Siona. We're gonna say that he's intimidated by her. Yeah. No. No, it's all right. You, you have all the fun then. Oh, thanks. So you know where you're going, eh? I, there's two of you right now, but I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going. Yeah, well, we'll uh, we'll get someone to look at your head later. Get to that quick now. Go, come on. All right. So I guess I start dragging her down to the east. Is that the way you want to go? Well, 50-50 chance, so yes. You've chosen wisely. <laughs> so, yes, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, you, uh, so Jimmy tells you, yeah, as you wander, as you start dragging her towards the, to, towards the east there, yep, yeah, you let us know how it goes down there. I'm not how much near. could I hear through the door? Um, roll me a perception check. While he's doing that, how thick was that door? Yeah, and what was it made of? I'd say the door is made of wood. And the the wood, secret door? No, the secret door, I, I think, is made of, I think it's made of stone-ish material. Honestly, I hadn't thought that far. Is it more or less than a thick wide? Th th thick. Foot thick. Yeah. <laughs> I would say it is less than a foot thick. <laughs> He's definitely uh, been hit over the head. I'm just in character. Yeah. So uh, I'd say it's less than a foot thick. All right. So. All right. Go ahead I and start. yell that, Chris. Help. Uh, give the uh, give the old uh, torture master some sum of my regards, eh? <laughs> well, do Jeremy. Yep. No. Okay, so Jeremy closes the door behind him. Um, Eldon was able to hear uh, pretty much he, enough to get the general gist of the situation. Uh, Siona and Corin are making their way towards towards the east, towards the torture chamber, and. Jeremy is continuing his rounds. Um, he's continuing his rounds. All right, well, we continue down the hallway. 
Eldon, do you do anything with that information? I didn't come rushing through the door to fight it. So as as we pass this point right here, I message and tell him that we're leaving message range and it's gonna be quiet from this point on. Okay. Okay. Which which means that I'll probably like play a relay and cool. Cool. try and get their attention when they can come over. When the guys up above can come over and, you know, when it's safe, and kind of relay that information. Well, real fast. We, I'm going to, I will spend a little bit of time right here and, I don't know. Uh, well, as long as you're in contact with me, I'll stay right here. I'll, I'll get in contact with him and we'll do a quick little 30 seconds of how far away can you get. Because you should be able to get any closer to the top of the stairs, because the message can go through around turns. Oh, correct. You want, you so you should, you actually might be able to actually get to go back upstairs as long as you're near the stairs, and I can message you from inside the room we were just in. That way, you're visible to them outside. Okay, so I can actually sit above the door. Basically, it's 120 feet of I can follow, you know go this way, then down there, then up here, then up that. As long as there's 120 feet of non-obstructing material. Okay. Okay, so then, so I, we're, what we're basically going to say is I'm going to get above and kind of be near the door, but just kind of looking like I'm yeah, med and, and where you meditating can, you, among the trees because the other guys are being too, too rowdy. Thunder. But you should be able to, you should be able to talk to them a little bit if you yell or something. Right. Okay. And then we'll continue down the hallway and see what's around corner number two. All right. So the others now know they've they've run into a guard, but they've managed to get past them. Correct. So. You peer down the hallway. You see a guard making his rounds um, quite a ways down. The door, the, the hallway uh, ends into a uh, into a uh, a wall with a door, and this guard is continuing his rounds to the west path. So the guard did not see you, because I'm assuming you guys were just peering around the corner. As I move you back there. So you've got a long hallway, has a westerly passage, and a door to the south. Alright, well, we'll just start going down the hallway. Okay. Um... Are you trying to do it quietly, or do you not care? I don't care. Okay. Just doing it with her in front of me, me behind, as if, as if I'm escorting her. I got you. All right. And if he has not come around the corner by the time we get to that corner, we do want to stop and peer around. I got you. Stealthily. Yep. So, y'all are moving. Okay, so you peer around the corner. You see the guard. Um, and he's going to make his way down here. Uh, to the end of the passageway, and he's going to make a left turn out of your field of vision. We, is there any kind of signs in the wall, or anything even looks like we're going 
to a dungeon versus there are from what you've seen there are no visible sign markers or anything it's just standard gray slab walls and the doors are completely just solid no windows on them or anything correct all right siona which way do you think we should go let's try the door all right i'll i'll go down to the door you stay just i'll keep an eye on the hallway yes that stealthily all right so i right. you know ear to the door listen through it roll me a perception check door so you you listen intently you you hear something, but you're not really certain what it is. Is there like a crack under the door where light's coming through? Like brighter than where I'm at, or does it look dark underneath? Or? I would say it's a little brighter than where you are. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a, little, a little brighter. I mean, but I mean, the crack... Like I mean, the, the the crack isn't super thick. So, I mean, it's not enough for you to really know what's, you know, what's going on. All right. Well, that sounds like the wrong room. We'll keep going down the hallway. Okay. Again, same thing. Walk normally until we get to the intersection, then stealthily peer out. Okay. There's another long hallway that moves to the right. Again, no real markings or anything. This place is a freaking maze. All right. Um, hell, I guess we'll keep going straight that way. Okay. All right, so you see yet another uh, doorway. Surprise, surprise. So there is another doorway. Now this doorway is a little bit ornate, more ornate than others. Um, appears to be um, have uh, a a symbol. Uh, of Bane embossed in, in, embossed on the door in, in silver. All right. Well, ornate, ornate doors sound bad. I'm going to go head back, and we'll go down the south way. Okay. Come on, roll 20. Work with me. So a little dog leg. All right, we'll just keep going down these dog legs. I mean, spirals have got to be good. Yeah, spirals have got to be real good. So you see at the end of this hallway is yet another door and this one is as decorated as the last one with the silver emblem of Bane adorning the center of the door okay I'm going to stealthily walk up to the door and try and listen through okay You hear what appears to be two two voices uh, in a heated discussion um, of what you can't really tell, um, but they seem seem to be in a lively 
lively discussion um, and almost an argument uh, as, as if that they are yelling at something or someone. Can I make out any words? Something. Just of it. Uh, the, well, hang on. You you get the gist that they are yelling at somebody um, to leave the room, but you, you don't get much much more than that. All right. Well, I quickly get back over here, relay that to Siona, and we. Go back up to about right there. Okay, alrighty. Except she's on the other side of me. And wait for a second, trying to hear which of the doors that person leaves. How long do you wait? Uh, 30 seconds. I mean, if we hear a door open or not. You don't hear a door open in that time. All right, then we move up to the next t, t, t intersection. Have we heard the door open yet? No. Okay, then we'll just get back. We'll go back to this first door and assume that was the correct door all along. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll go to that door. All right, so I will you know, open it up slowly and peek through. Okay. So, how big of a crack? Do what? How, bi how big of a crack are you opening? Uh, just a tiny crack to begin with. If I hear... If I hear voices, I'll finish opening it all the way so it doesn't look like I'm sneaking in. Alright, so we'll say that you see about that that much. So you do hear voices as you uh, crack open the door. You see a guard, a knight, standing right by the entrance. You see what seems to be a wooden cage in your immediate field of view. All right, well, I'm assuming it's the right place. I open the door all the way and push Yona through first. All right. So you have entered what appears to be a torture chamber. Um, let's see. You see multiple doors around the room. I'm trying to make sure that you can see them all. Uh, there are the brown uh, etchings on the wall. Uh, to the south, you see a couple of uh, stretching boards. Uh, two guillotines lay are in the center of the room. Um, there's a guard immediately to your left as you enter the room. Uh, looking a little closer at things, and I'm assuming that your perception check has just gone swimmingly. There are several guards uh, that down uh, working at a table in the, the southeast corner of the room. <clears throat> a manticore lays lounging around in the center of the room. Uh, there are different artifacts um, and instruments of destruction and torture uh, littered around around the the room, and uh, to the uh, the southwestern corner of it. So you see a gentleman clad in white uh, uh, standing in front of his desk. Uh, he looks up and turns his gaze at you. Um, and the, as does the guard, and as you walk in, everybody kind of turns their attention to you. Um, and says, to, the, the guy at the, in, clad in white, says, mm -hmm. Have you brought me another participant? I nod yes and kind of just, you know, push her forward a little bit. Ooh, excellent, excellent. 
And, guardsmen, what, uh, what has this lovely participant done to uh, join us here in our, in our arena? Sorry, I missed that. I'm getting yelled at. What has this uh, lovely participant done to uh, be brought to our uh, to our arena? Yeah. I think I've got a deserter. Whew, deserters. Those are my favorites. Just supposed to just supposed to put her in a dungeon cell. Oh, uh, on on just immediately put her in the dungeon. That's normally we just go ahead and strap them up to the board and uh, throw a few lashes on them. Uh, what's the breach in protocol here? Any either interrogation or example, they just tell me to do things. I'm sure she'll get all the lashes you'd ever want. But for now, she's just going to sell. Are you sure? I mean... Normally, at least three lashes, uh, I mean, is upon entering to at least start teaching them their lesson. I mean, I'm far from me be the one to, you know, break protocol. I'm just doing what I was told. Okay. Well, we will put her in lockup then. So, uh, the gentleman walks... Um, walks forward, um, calls out to the guard that comes in, uh, nods to the door to your left. Uh, this door right here uh, nods to this guard and says, go put her in the, go put her in the cell. And he walks up and grabs her from the gut, uh, from you, and starts pushing her towards the door. Ah! To the cell with you, deserter! Alright, I'm gonna follow along just to make sure she you know, gets in there and see what I can see. Okay. Siona, do you have any response so far? Nope. Okay. She does still have that dagger hidden somewhere on there, though. So the the guard pushes her, roughhouses her into the doorway, um, unlocking the the door, and pushes her into a small antechamber. And shuts the door behind him and locks it. He reaches forward, unlocks the next door, and enters a cell, a rectangular cell that has several several places uh, for people. There are um, as you are ushered in, Siona, so you see what appears to be a uh, an, a half orc uh, woman chained up to the north, a an orc uh, to the left. Um, uh, let me make sure that I'm calling these out correctly. So this one right here is a half orc woman that's been beaten. Uh, as is this is an orc. Uh, here that's still moving to the southern part are two uh, limp uh, corpses that have been beaten basically to death. The new guard takes and pushes you forward to the northwest corner and starts manacle uh, attaching you to the manacles on the wall. Uh, if you would, roll me a perception check real quick. Okay, uh, so you don't recognize any of the people in the room. Um, let's see. 
though the uh, orc to the left kind of cocks his eyes at you a little uh, shocked. So the guard, um, the guard manages to take you out of, uh, out of your rope. Uh, it slips the ropes off your hands, noticing that they were a bit easy to get off, and uh, attaches the manacle to your wrist with a snap. It says this will, this ought to keep you cozy until until Sasuma gets his hands on you. Awesome. And he walks back to the door, unlocks it, and makes his way back into the main chamber. Master Sasuma, uh, the, the prisoner has been locked up. Uh, it's awaiting your, your tender touch, sir. And the guard goes back to his post. Sasuma looks at uh, at Tim, the guard, and says, "Is there anything else, guardsman?" No, uh, the Sasuma. I'm going to go tell the captain that she's safely locked up, and then I'm sure he'll be down here promptly to let you start your fun. Ooh, the captain has brought me a special person. I will get prepared. Thank you very much, guardsman. Okay, and. Just real fast. You said there was a manacle in here somewhere. Leon. Oh, that that thing. I, that that thing in the middle. Yeah, that guy right there. He's kind of okay, lounging as a. Uh, looks like not necessarily a pet, but he's he's sitting out there just lounging around. Looks like he's part of the crew. Not you know, right, not just yeah. making sure that that's what what where I knew everyone was at. Okay. Yep. I am going to leave. And then as quickly as I can, get back to the rest of the group. I assume that you are going to be running flat out? Uh, it's... I'm going to walk briskly, but not to where if someone saw me, they'd be like, what the hell? Okay. Uh, I don't think we need a check for that. Alright, so... And you know what they say, if you're going to split the party, split it right the hell up. <laughs> um. All right, where did you go? I've lost you. I'm, I'm back. I'm like up in the washroom. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, I see you up there. All right, so you are probably well within message range. And I relay everything that just happened and tell her, tell them we need to get down there and get her out of there as quickly as possible. <laughs> All right. So, did you push on the door? No, I have just messaged through it. Okay. So, Eldon, you have received a message. What do you do with the message? Did we lose Eldon? They fell uh, asleep during yeah. my my fun uh, corridor navigation. It was fun. I'm back. So you weren't supposed to leave her down there. Well, there was four, four of them in a manacore. I couldn't do much about it. A manacore? Yeah, manacore. What have they got a manacore down there for? Anyway, uh, I'll go let Raz and, and Thongram know what's going on. Do you want to come back out? Or are you going to come back up? Or I mean, we need to get back down there as quickly as we can. I don't know if there's much good in me coming out. So, we've got to prepare to attack. I mean, I, I guess I can come out. We need the plan. So, And Jeremy knows. Who, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to come out there because Jeremy knows how I got in. So, that's fine. In fact, I'll go over here, pop my head through that door. If Jeremy's there, be like, hey, dropped her off, heading out, back out to my post. Okay. Uh, Jeremy is not there. All right, then I close the door and then 
open the secret door again as quietly as I can, slip out, close it behind me. Alrighty. Okay, Siona. Roll me a strength check, please. Uh, Corin, roll me one as well. Alright, so the door, Corin makes it through the door. Um, Siona manages to break free one of the uh, the manacles from the wall. She has she's tied up t together, but she's managed to rip one of them off the wall, uh, leaving a chain tied to uh, tied to her hand. Uh, shocking the uh, the half orc and the orc that are sending uh, chained up to her side, going uh, they. And they managed to mumble to her, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You will pay for it that dearly, the orc says. I, I remember you. I remember you. I don't want to see you hurt. Well, if I can get us all free. I... What? Uh, I wish you could. Well, I'm taking my dagger out and I'm going to pick at the other manacle. Okay. Alright. So, not sure what check that would be. Um, so, you're... Let's see, I mean, would that be a sleight of hand, I think? If you're, are you trying to pick it or are you just trying to... What are you trying to do? Uh, I don't know, either try to loosen one of the chain links, or, uh, I mean, I'll pull on it again, but, um, I'm just trying to wedge it in between the opening, I guess. All right. Even if that means, like, the manacle stays on my wrist and it breaks off the chain. Okay. So we'll say that's a strength check. Um, the guard did hear you pull that off of the wall and starts making his way back into the into the uh, thing. You hear him screaming, "Hey, hey, what's going on in here?" All right. So you manage to get that and start bending the manacles to where you can uh, you can pull your wrist through. So you have managed to free yourself from the manacles as the guard comes in. Hey, you! So that's... wait, I put my other wrist up near the wall and hide the chain behind me. Okay, so I'm trying to see how the timing of this would have worked. So you have two hands. One hand is free, one has a chain limply hanging on the ground now. So, well, it's not free, it's just she could pull her hand out if she wanted. Right. One's One's got a manacle with a chain that's broken off the wall. Right. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, he still sees that something is wrong. He doesn't know that you are free, but he sees the, you know, he's looking at it and he can see that you have broken something off of the wall. And the other, the other two, the half-orc and the orc, start making a lot of sound and making a big rust trying to distract the guard. So, does he come close at all? So he's coming close with his, he has a whip in hand, and he's coming close to you and says, Now that's enough of that as he raises up his wrist with this whip and he's starting to bring it down on you. I put my arm up to try to catch the whip and I charge him. While slipping my hand out of the manacle. Okay. That was loose. All right, so now I got to figure out how to rule this damn thing. <laughs> so he's going to try to make an attack. Um, 
Corin has come up and is telling us all we need to co go down into the dungeon now? Yeah, I'm basically saying that Siona got locked in a cell with a torture-mad guy and don't know how long she'll be safe. What's the situation? Is it pretty well defended? Three guards, a torturer, and a manticore. A manticore? What the hell is a manticore doing there? Lounging, <laughs> lounging around. I don't know how much torturer is going to put up for a fight, but there are three guards. And I did not get to see inside any of the cells to see if, who was in them. There's at least two other guards patrolling. Do you think there were any other ways in? Who was that directed at? I was uh, me towards um, Corin. Like, were there? Was that the only way in? If we blocked the door, we could they I'm, they would be able to come at us from other directions. You mean the the torture room? Yeah. There were two doors I did not get to see into. But judging from where I wandered around, I doubt a torture room has very many exits. Good point. Just if we go down there and make a lot of noise, I just want to know where we're going to be. <laughs> we're going to have to defend ourselves. Well, we can use that immovable rod to lock the door closed. That'll at least that'll at least let us take care of everyone inside the room. Haha, <laughs> was that, that, I, okay. But then, who knows what's going to be outside that door when we're done? Looking, looking at what time it is. Let's 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 wrap up. You guys are are in the middle of y'all's conversation. Siona's in the middle of her altercation with the guard, so he's got a whip. Gonna he's going to come and attempt to hit her with the whip. All right, but then she's trying to. Da you are going to try to dash him and do charge. You're going to try to charge him, and how does how does charge? I don't know. If charge. it's dash, then that's dash. I don't know. Oh, there's a charge. So. Charging is a feat. She's just going to attack him. Yeah, Maybe. I'll just run at him. And try to get the chain around his neck or something. Improvised weapon. Is he, it is. is he only armed? Yeah, is he only armed with a whip? Or is that what he? Ha is that what he's currently using? That's so he doesn't have his sword drawn. That's currently what he's using. Um, so he's attacking you with that. So the, we're going to say that that's that's a hit. So he hits you <laughs> for one, just to. Just to piss you off. As so, he hits you as you're r dashing at him, and you are going to hit him with, or you're, are you going to try to grapple him with the chain, or are you going to try to hit him with the chain? I think she wants to try and grapple the chain and like choke him out with it. Yeah. Okay. So, what would that be? Grapple is going to be her athletics versus his athletics or acrobatics, his choice. Yes, but she's still got to... Does she still have to hit him, or she's she's just trying to grab him? So she rushes up to him. Go ahead and uh, roll a, the, the, acro, uh, the, the, the athletics check, please. And this is going to be unlikely that he succeeds, but we will see. All right, so you... Ooh. Everybody shifted to the right a pixel. <laughs> did you drag the whole map? I'm not sure what I did. Did the drugs just kick in, man? <laughs> yeah, do. All right, so you, you have rushed forward and you have managed to get the chains around him um, and have managed to grapple him. As he screams out uh, to uh, to everyone, help! Help! Come! She she's loose. Around his neck. It's around his neck. Well, I mean, he's got to. I mean, he's gonna see it happening. Um, and 
I okay. Anyway, the the roll. Okay, well, <laughs> with the chain around his neck, I'm gonna go lean against that door. Okay. Did he lock the door on his way through like he did? He locked the first door. He did not lock the second one. That door is locked. Is he the only one with that key? No, he. I didn't I mean, answer that. Uh, that's something we wouldn't know. That's not uh, something you would know, but it would be an assu- a safe assumption. I, I would assume that he is probably not the only one with the key. Right. So that door that you just pinged is open. Is open. Okay, well, so we're rallied to come down at this point, right? So what are we doing timing-wise for... For what? In terms of, like, it, things happening simultaneously. Well, that sounds like a... That sounds like something we're going to figure out next time. Yeah, we're going to take a short few-minute battle plan. By few minutes, I mean a week. Yes. <laughs> because it is 10 till 10, and so this seems like a a good, stressful point to call the session. Did we lose Ash, by the way? Thongram and... He's been peppering me with all sorts of shit for the past hour. <laughs> oh, he hasn't. Okay, he's been really quiet on our side. I mean, I assume that he has not melted into oblivion. Right. I'm here. I'm just happily sharing the spotlight. So can I tell you what I'm trying to go for, and you can tell me if it'll work? <laughs> I, you could, you Are we officially? We're officially calling it that. That's where, we're basically, up here. This is a ra- up, up above a rally is being called, and down here there's a scuffle. Yes, I would say that the troops are rallying at the secret entrance. Um, but this is a good thing because I need to write all this down. So they are going at the secret entrance. Which means that they've got to contend with um, getting. They have to. They have to be able to get to the. They have to get to the scuffle that's happening in the dungeon. Possibly. Possibly. They also have to worry about the guards outside. The guards above. Yep. Noticing them. Jeremy. Oh, hold on. We haven't gotten to Jeremy. Uh, nothing. That's sad. Worry about Jeremy the guard. And how long it's going to take them to get there. And random walking guard. The mm-hmm. random walking guard in the hall. And, and, and the patrol. Someone there, yeah. Alright. Um. So, that is Corin, Elden, Thongram, potentially Thongram, and, uh, and Raz, depending on what you guys want to do. So, um, anything else happening with the, uh, the quartet up there and the, at the campsite right now? No, I just wanted to make sure. So, we know kind of everything from the messaging that Elden's relayed, but we don't know that Siona is actively trying to escape. We just think she's locked up. Correct. You know nothing about the scuffle right now. Fantastic. Yes. We're at least five rounds away at me running full speed. Probably seven rounds from you guys. And that's once we get through that door. Yeah. I don't know if me running by myself is going to do much good. But if we don't know there's a scuffle going But you do know that I'm feisty. She yes. likes her vengeance. <laughs> she does like her vengeance, and apparently her smiting. Uh, if only I was level 5. If only you were level 5. Uh. Which begs the question, we, we did set up camp for the night, uh, but we didn't have do we get the benefit of a long rest or not because we were just looking for a break in the patrol. Yeah, you, right 
You would not have. Guess. Yeah, you wouldn't have gotten a long rest because that requires eight hours, and you guys did not do that. You're getting real, robotty. At least from our end. I heard no. Yeah, I heard no too, but it, it was a long, drawn out robotty no. Oh, okay. All right. So let's try this again because I heard Netflix start in the other room. So, no, you did not get a uh, uh, the benefits okay, of the rest. I still can't hear you. Damn it. <laughs> All I heard was that this was a triumph. I am doing science here because that's what needs to be done. I'm making a note here. Level five? <laughs> no. Ah, uh, still really robotic. I heard like a year. All right, so let's let's. let's... Oh, we're what, done. Was that, what was that recording? That... Can I at least finish my action so I don't forget what I was gonna do? I, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm coming back. <laughs> so, Siona, you are in the middle of trying to choke a guy with a chain as he's screaming. So I want to slam him against, like, I want to be behind him and I want to slam him against the wall. Okay. Alright, so... You can move him because she grabbed one the grapple. Yes, you can do that. So you can move him. And then it would be, what, a strength check or an attack check to try to pummel him against the wall? Well, I just want to, like, push him against the wall. Then yes, you can absolutely push him against the wall. The door being the wall. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. All right. You so I just want to pu I want to push him up door. against the wall with the with the chain around his neck, All and right. I'm behind him. All right. So then, with one hand holding the chain, I'm going to grab the ring off my necklace and try to get it on his hand. I like where you're going with this. All right, so you are smashing him against the door. Um, so let's do a, as you're doing this, uh, give me a strength uh, athletics check versus his athletics check. Nice. <laughs> oh. I... No. So... <laughs> In what we did not foresee happening, the guard has broken free from the chain, <laughs> or from the grapple. But the chain would still be around his neck, just not being choked. By yeah, he just, yes. I just did not succeed on my ring thing. Well, so the chain around his neck is still attached to the manacle on her wrist. It's there, but he's broken free from that. Wait, what? Yeah. Gosh. I am confused. It's the, the ring you broke, right? Or is it the other one? No, she's talking about the ring of petrification. I was going to turn oh, to stone. Oh, I thought you were yeah. talking about the, the, the shackle ring. Sorry. Oh, no. no she has no. one shackle on one arm that's got a chain on it, and then she... I thought she was talking about trying to slip the shackle on his wrist. Sorry, I mis misunderstood that. Oh, okay. All right, so we're all on the same page. I've been wondering when the yeah, ring of petrification yeah. was going to come back. All right, so yes, that's good. So, but he just, so here's the thing. So he just takes... He just, you go to slip it on, and he just makes a fist. And he's like, no, you can't open my fingers. <laughs> well, remember, I mean, we, we, we haven't done, we have not done initiative. So, I mean, as you're moving him, he still has the opportunity to try to break free from the grapple, which is what we just did with the athletics check. Okay. So he's got some f freedom of movement at this point. Now, I'll grant you that the chain is probably still around his neck, but it's, you know, it's not holding him down. Right? We're all following? Yes. Okay. So, I still like what you're trying to do with the ring. 
Um, so did so did he es he escaped my grapple? Yes, That's what that was. Yes. Okay. So y'all are kind of having a wrestling match right here. So we're going to call that a round of movement, provided giving the other squad. Did they move or not? Are they are they actively heading towards the dungeon? That was what I was asking in terms of what is the simultaneous action at this point. You know, how much time did it take for her to pull that shackle down versus? So what well, I it, it's going to take me a, it's going to take me a minute to get back to right right Corin coming up us discussing and talking about whether or not you know because he's got to talk us into going back down there and we've also you know that so what 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 how do you want do we want to make it that we were rallied and we're ready to go down and we want to start turn from the moment we get on the stairs or and that's the same at the same moment she's grappling him or where where do we want that synchronization to happen yeah that's it yeah I, I agree with you so What's happening down here? You know, in the movies, this could be happening like five minutes apart, and actually we're all right outside the door ready to burst through. Right. So what I was saying is as, as Corin was making his way up, she was actively trying to get the, the chain out of the wall. All right. So as she's dorking around trying to uh, open up the, the, sh the, the shackle on her other wrist, I would say at that point in time, uh, Corin would have made it back to the to the the, the the entrance, messaging you as as he gets close enough to start, you know, start that conversation. Um, so, and so all that's happening before the guard comes in. So as the guard comes in, he's attempting to get the whip going, hits her. This is where all that's happening. So we'll say... I mean, I, I'd say y'all are at least, you know, at the stairs. Unless, you, unless you've unless you got a better timeline for me. And I'm willing, I'm willing to entertain it. Okay. I mean, does it... Does it sound logical? Yeah. W where's everybody else on that? That's what I'm waiting for. I yep. guess that's fine. So, so we want to kind of time it to the point that we would be rallied, and our turns will start at the top of, at the stairs. Well, we would. I mean, I guess, but we would have no clue what's going on. So we would. True, but we we'd, we'd, we'd be meandering, taking the stealth, and doing this like. We assume she's shackled in, riding the night out. You know, we're not guns ablazing, I would think, because we don't have any clue she's staged her own revolution. Well, right. You... And so we, I mean, we still have to get it into a synchronized t turn order that, okay, well, we're going to be walking regular speed or, you know, whatever. Right. Double briskly. But then, so whatever she does down here, we have to be like, okay, now we move this far. After they do something else, we move. She does something else, we move this far. You know, we have to get something that synchronizes how when we're going to get there. I agree, but uh, so where I'm pinging on the map right there, as soon as he is, I'm assuming as soon as Corn hit message range, you know, he's starting to go, guys. Could we, you know, he's got a couple well, of rounds there. Avengers assemble. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, if you're looking at it, regardless if you know if regardless if you know she's in, in the middle of a struggle or not, Corin knows that he just left her in the middle of a jail cell in a torture chamber. So he's going to be, guys. I have either one fucked up or two. Regardless, we need to get down there. Corin's not sleeping on the couch. We need to go safer. <laughs> <laughs> And you're right. I I have been assuming that Corin cares. <laughs> well, but as soon as he gets into range and tells me, I'm gonna say, "Yeah, we care. Why'd you leave her down there? We've got to go get her back out." But we need to also get past all of the things that 
are in the way between. How about, how, how about we do this? How about we resolve what she's doing, figure out how many rounds that takes, and then we can rewind time next week, figure, figure out this all out, and we can. Be. That way, we're not going back and forth. If it takes her five rounds, we'll just play five rounds out and say, whatever we wherever we sync time up. Well, my concern is that what just happened in here. There's also this guy. This guy, sorry, that guy, that guy, I can't get the ring, but there's four people out in the other dungeon who are probably hearing that scuffle and are going to probably to that eight. It's going to be a full-scale battle. Right, but we don't know that. So Correct. it's not going to resolve in five rounds. We don't know that, but it's not resolving what she's doing could you know, it's going to take time. We're going to arrive in the middle of that scuffle or something that's going on. No, I'm just saying, let's say it takes her five rounds and we decide that we enter the dungeon as soon as she attacked him. We'll just take five turns of, of our own in a row real fast. And, you know, Adam can start by, oh, round three, you start hearing noises. That way we can, that way we can finish this thing with Siona and be done for the night. And then next week we can just pick it back up. Well, I mean, I, this has not gone anywhere the way that I thought it was going to go, and I love how it's turned out because this is awesome. I don't know what's going to happen, but I, from what I see right now, I would say this is a good time to call it because we'd have, I'd say we'd have had three rounds to get to where we are at this point. One, one more thing? Go for it. Can I cast command? Wait, can I see the keys on his belt? I'm trying to play act how this would have gone on. You would have had this. I mean, I'm a. What's he wearing? What the hell? Let's just say that he's got it. Yeah, that you can lay eyesight on it. Well, so yeah. Gonna... If he locked the front, the first door. Yeah. On his way through. His so key. I'm going to cast command, and point to the keys and say give. Okay. Oh, God, there's a lot of text. <laughs> it's mostly examples. Yeah. yeah, there's just some examples okay. at the bottom. Right, but what's the... So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Right. <clears throat> All right. And he did not. So. How about the ring? But the ring, me, the ring would probably be harmful. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't know what the. If someone told you to magically to put on a ring, you're probably not gonna think it's good for you. Yeah, the best thing I'd come up with was like marry me or something. Nice. And she doesn't want that to cast a ceremony spell, so this was easier. <laughs> okay, so he's going to he's going to reach down in his thing with the keys, and he's going to throw them at you. So I will need you to do a dexterity check for me to see if you catch them. You snatch them sons of bitches straight out of the air. But there are several keys on there. Doesn't matter now, he can't get out. Yes, but she can't immediately get out either. All right, so where are we in this? We'll say that interchange was another, well, that was a half round. So what would he have done in that? He would, no, he would have given, that was his action. That was, was his, that, that was, yeah, his that action. was his turn. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so that would, we're going to say that's the fourth round. 
you are staring down the other guy, you've got a beaten up half orc to your north, a fairly beaten orc to the west who seems to know you, and two dead bodies uh, on the uh, on the southern side of the room. Siona doesn't know what's happening outside in the larger chamber, nor does anybody else. And we will say four rounds have elapsed at this point. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair. This is why we don't split the party. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, next week shall be should be exciting. Um, so uh, I will try to get this all cut up, and if y'all are interested in the the replay. I'll try to get it up here in the next couple of days. I know I'm going to take a listen to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so this is this is cool. I, I had fun with this. I hope y'all did. All right. Uh, Will, good luck tonight. Uh, no, no, she's she's free about to murder a whole room of bad guys. I'm good. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, sounds good, everybody. We will. Do this again, I believe, next week.